WXRK, New York, 92.3 K-Rock. Great rock, 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 period. Each Sunday, in the early hours, as the sun goes blood red, then fades to darkness, three wee lads, one of them far more weird than the other two, leave their women for behind and journey to an empty radio station in New York City. There, they rise up against the bloody rubbish of the radio industry that plays the same 15 songs off a hard drive and gives away tickets to crap concerts. This is the last Law Show. Starring Big Wayne. You banged a homeless girl away? Yeah, she lived in a car. She wasn't homeless. <laughs> no. Well, you were on crack. You didn't know. No, that was the girl who left me that I turned to the crack. The girl that was living in a car. She broke your heart. <laughs> yes. Why? She, she pulled away. <laughs> and Reed, who wears a dress and rides a scooter. You know, I need to watch lots of porn so I know what I can be against. And Cousin Ed, whose girlfriend has not got grass on the pitch, if you know what I mean. So she said she's 18 in December? How's that bad? One show, fighting to show them we're no dogs but men. Men who remember freedom, where 16 year olds can drink and listen to metal music and smoke at bars and get into high speed accidents. Men who have punch cards at Planned Parenthood. One show that could be shut down in a moment. Until that moment, this is The Laszlo Show. Laszlo Show. Episode 19. The night is finally here. The legendary tape of Big Wayne banging the homeless girl in the 80s. It gets played tonight. And what we will call Porn Idol, porn producer Joe Gallant and two stars will come by to judge Wayne's performance and his future in the porn industry. Plus, uh, Cousin Ed's interview with Mary Carey, some Star Wars and uh, Matrix video game news, and uh, audio of drunk chicks getting arrested. But uh, first, some DJ Zebra taking on Hendrix. Laszlo Show, 93K Rock. We should uh, start from the beginning, as the song goes. Um, first, read the useless producer, Wayne the... Uh, I stopped calling you the sidekick. 
Yeah, why? Well, I don't know. It just sounds a little gay, and especially since you said you're going to start going to the radio message boards and looking for people that need sidekicks. Yeah, uh, you never know. I might have to uh, post my resume and see what's out there. Did you your resume? You've been <laughs> what's on your resume? I'm on a, sh- a I'm, on a sh- I'm on a show that brought ratings, doubled the ratings. Oh, in in what demographic? Uh, Several, eight, eighteen to twenty-five. <laughs> 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 Females. <laughs> no, there's not one chick that uh, listens to this show, man. We had a lot of people a little freaked out. Uh, uh, this is the Laszlo show, and we've been on since July. And last week, we said, you know what? We're going to take a week off. We're, we're doing like a best of, which uh, I hear this week that somebody is uh, laying claim to the rerun. Did you hear that? What do you mean? No, there's a person in this uh, works in this building, so they invented the rerun. The rerun. So we were ripping somebody off just by doing uh, a rerun show last week. Just because we couldn't be in the building and do a live show, right. we had ripped someone off. Right. Mm-hmm. Not Johnny Carson. No. Who was doing reruns. Somebody else. Wow. Um, So we had, in fact, we recorded a bunch of new stuff for last week, and we FedExed it to K-Rock, and I get a frantic call at 6.15. I'm enjoying the first beer I've had in five weeks, and the phone rings. Where are you? You're supposed to be on the air. Where are you guys at? And I'm, <laughs> that's never a good thing. I'm home listening, and I'm saying, okay, they canned us. We're done. <laughs> They're not playing the best of. Apparently, it ain't good enough. <laughs> right. The best of didn't even make it. Right. Um, so uh, the guy, the board op dude, who was very nice, we couldn't find the CDs. And then he found something and started to play it, and it was the demo, right? Like a CD that uh, all the Infinity corporate people have, and... So he's playing like these three minute clips and then going into music. It was a lot of music. It sounded like a train wreck. And the email that we got, people in other countries upset. We, the Norwegians were mad. Is that what you're saying? Bugging. Really? They finally found the CDs like uh, around eight o'clock. Good so, to know. Good yeah. to know. So Reed, uh, Reed, you don't listen. On the best of you didn't have any. You didn't want to listen. No man. No, be- I called Reed and said, uh, "Did you notice that the show's not on?" Well, I knew something was a little weird, but I figured it was our first night off, and I know Laszlo had some plans, so I didn't want to break his chops. And I was like, "Maybe we're done." Yeah, you know, maybe it's over. I had football to watch, baby. He never even listens. Wow. Look, don't let's not get into it. Even when you are like out for a couple of hours and can't make the show, <laughs> yeah. I call you the producer. You're supposed to be listening. You're right. Oh, you, you know, I, you should, a, I should listen on the internet. But you I do learn a lot by listening we've got, back. We've got, we've got. I, I learned I'm a funny guy. <laughs> <laughs> you know how it is, though. But when, like, when you used to work at the pizza place, when you're off work, the last thing you want to do is go in and get a slice. You know nope. what I'm saying? We hung out after hours because there was video game machines there. There was a jukebox that had Tone Loke and Def Leppard in it, <laughs> and there was beer on tap. Uh, yeah. We had keys to the place, and when you get the munchies. You fire up the pizza oven, and you make these crazy pizza concoctions that only stony people would sort out. Nice. Like pineapple and Diet Pepsi. No, we made put a that on there. Big Mac pizza. That was our favorite. Did you? We took take all, take all the ingredients from a Big Mac. You put like several pounds of hamburger meat on a pizza. Uh-huh. You put um, Thousand Island dressing. That was your special sauce, huh? That was the special sauce. I don't, think McDonald's like, I don't think McDonald's likes you giving out the special sauce recipes. Well, it's thousand yeah, everyone knows, exactly. <laughs> it's, it's not in a vault somewhere. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's not like the recipe for uh, KFC or no, whatever. It's right. Special sauce. But Wayne says that he went driving around in his truck just so he could listen to himself on the radio well, last you know, week. I, I painted last week, and in the middle of it, I had to run out, ran out of Dutch's. And I think, <laughs> first of all, me and the old lady, of course. I don't know if I should say this one, but uh, we went through a Z <laughs> in about 48 hours. So nice. you do the math. Well, we ran out of Dutch's, and I had to go out. And as soon as I got in the car, you know, K-Rock's on the radio, so I'm listening to myself now. I'm like, you know, it's one thing to be home listening to yourself on a disc, but now I'm driving around in my car with the window down. This mm-hmm. is Big Wayne listening to Big Wayne. And he goes into, he goes to the gas station, he runs in, why aren't you listening to K-Rock? I was like, wow, you guys don't got K-Rock on? I said, that program's great. <laughs> <laughs> so you're like Peyton Manning watching film over there, yes. right? Taking yep. notes on your performance. I love it, Reed. I'm, I'm yeah. home, I'm hysterical. What do you learn? What do you learn? That I'm a funny guy. Uh, <laughs> His uh, girl says that she will come home because she, you know, takes. She actually works in the city instead of running around Long Island swinging a hammer and smoking with a bunch of construction guys mm-hmm. like Wayne. She will come home and Wayne will be sitting on the couch in his underwear, <laughs> listening to uh, CDs uh, because 
Every episode of this show is at the website, lazlow.com, and you can download them, burn them to CD, whatever you want to do. We're going to put them in a box set soon and sell <laughs> them Wayne's already you. talking about doing a box set. <laughs> He's good. He's the we business We gotta make mind. a dollar. You're man. right. Tonight on the show, you're right. We uh, we've been talking about this tape for what seems like months, and Wayne backed out. Yeah, okay. there's is a tape of Wayne and a homeless girl that he fell in love with uh, in the '80s. And I say homeless. I, I I don't know. I hope you, I hope I hope she gets a better description of homeless when you watch the video. Was uh, she hot homeless? <laughs> what, is, what is I hot homeless? Was hot. Well, you know, some people are when they start doing the math, their teeth fall out. No, and stuff no, like was, that. She was, was before math. Yeah, there was no. She was. She no, was a looker. She just happened to be living in a. She wasn't into any alcohol or any drugs at all. Mm-hmm. So great. Nothing better than being a straight edge uh, homeless. homeless person. There's like at least you can blame it on the drugs. Like mm-hmm. oh, you know, I kind of got messed up on the drugs, but no. Um, so Wayne has agreed. He has made it. Uh, condensed version because evidently this tape of you uh, you did sort of an amateur editing uh, the, to begin well, no, with you did it was first off it was an amateur sort of porn tape that Again, you did no. in the 80s let me self describe that it's someone that allowed me to videotape her while having relations <laughs> okay is that is that clean enough for us yes. well, what made you want to tape it back then so it was hot because <laughs> you wanted to sh- you wanted to show your boys that's no, what you told I think me more you, yeah if, yeah you wanted to have some recognition from the boys you know <laughs> if you the really if the relationship didn't work out you know but the relationship was working it was like you know uh-huh. It's on the table for later on, I guess, blackmail and read, you know? You don't blackmail and. What have, are you going to blackmail a homeless girl for? If you don't have more <laughs> sex with in her car? Or what are you, gonna, <laughs> you don't have more sex with me? I'm, oh, I'm going to sell you. the tape. So, uh-huh. um, but he finally agreed to. But you should explain because, you know, we were talking about this tape for a long time, and, and if anyone who listens to the show knows that Wayne is probably the most open, if that's a nice way of saying it, person that <laughs> personally I described. have ever met, right. and tells me things off the air that uh, make my hair turn gray. <laughs> <laughs> I love the look on Reed's face when Wayne just, and he just blurts it out. It's like, do you know why I did this one time? And goes into stuff that like you couldn't even run on HBO. Anything I can bring up, he's got and a the, story about, he just told me one about, it I involved a olive oil ruining a sofa and his mother's <laughs> storeroom. <laughs> <laughs> which we cannot, which is 100% true, Definitely, and uh, we cannot go into that on the air. But I'm just saying is that I re- I've never re- seen Wayne clam up about anything. I remember this story. I might he, clam up tonight, Reed. <laughs> he said that he, he, they, he'd... Uh He'd run out of uh, like lubrication or something. He went and got a gallon of olive oil, like the Costco size. Like, yeah, yo, baby. This was before Costco, but yeah. this was before Costco. This is 19, it's like, like a restaurant size. What did I tell you? It was like 1982, 83, something like that. So, when is the, what, what year was this tape done? Just I'm so I know this who is was like in office. 84. 84. Yeah, this is definitely, I think, Reagan still and right. Bush coming have, in. We should have Jake Fogelnest here doing his <laughs> I Love the 80s uh, commentary. <laughs> And when initially we asked you about it, you said you were cool, but then you you got I a cold feet a little I bit. I punked a why? little bit. Tell us why. Tell us why. I, I felt like, you know, maybe I was, uh, you know, just someone I cared about and, you know, didn't want to, if she got worth it, I'm a bad person for doing this. I guess I have a conscience. Right. You well, know? we're not going to mention her name. No, 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 we're not no names would be mentioned. And you know. uh, the re- refer- reference of homeless girl is perfectly fine. Okay. <laughs> she I was when I first hotter. met her. <laughs> Um, but we have Reed uh, actually. Hold on, before we go any further. No, I'm sorry, I was just trying to do the show. No, go ahead. You know, because yeah. last night, you know, the one thing I'm amazed at, you know, I I know Laz would be intrigued at seeing the photo because my other friend that's seen it is Scott. <laughs> he can't even. Last night I seen when he looked me in the eyes, there was still he had flashbacks. We had now. dinner with the other human being that has seen this tape, who uh-huh. on a bet, like there was a big bet that he and Wayne went into. And uh, he won the bet, and the bet was he gets to see this tape. He says the next morning they were all at a diner, and he just sort of played with his food nonchalantly, <laughs> <laughs> looking, like, looking like a rape victim. Nice. He but didn't I, speak for two years. But anyway, last night, you know, Laz is like, you know, he's like, a, I figured he'd wait till like Christmas morning. We're going to see the video tomorrow night. He doesn't need any details or anything like that, you know? Uh-huh. So he turns to this guy and he goes, so am I going to see Wayne's junk? <laughs> and I look over and I was like, you know, you could ask me that in private. I would have shown it to you. <laughs> like, come on. You couldn't wait another 24 hours and find out for yourself? You had a blow. Well, that's the thing. For, for Laszlo and me, it's not exactly an a experience that we're welcoming. We're doing it for the show, but nobody wants to see their friend, especially in the 80s, like getting it on with a home. Right, because chick. he evidently has some kind of crazy mad tube socks on with the big yeah, stripes yeah. on yeah. And, and a look that I realized that Laz has never even remotely even seen in a photograph. <laughs> he, he and, I, and I do think I have a porn look for back then. Everybody looked porn in the 80s. Sort of did, yeah. Big hair, capizios. Oh, 
You I like just, that word now, I, huh? I learned that word yesterday. You know, Capizios? I don't know what it is. It was, they were Damn some kind of crazy something. shoes that Wayne used to wear. But they were mostly white, you know? I wore black ones, but because I wasn't wearing white Capizios. But yeah, they were Guido dance shoes. <laughs> You're hardcore. Yeah. So what does your girl Those, now think about you uh, showing the tape uh, on, on the show to some, some strange she knows porn it, producers? She knows it's about the laughs. Oh, it definitely is. There's, there's nothing serious about it, you know? Mm-hmm. Being described as a porno, though, like I said to you, it's someone that allowed me to videotape her. Whatever. That's a that, that that's, that's porn. That's amateur. So we have this porn <laughs> producer coming by who I, does like I guess shoots all over the world. Yeah. Uh, and he's actually bringing in a couple of porn stars, and they're going to judge Wayne's performance. See if he has what it takes to be in the industry. Or and evidently they're shooting a porn at ten thirty tonight, and mm-hmm. we've been invited to go by after the show. And I was a little on the seesaw on the way in. I was thinking, maybe I don't feel good. I'm not going to get enough. I've, I'm with it. Me and Rita going. This is a once in a lifetime. Yeah, we're yeah. going. You yeah. got to go. Lance. I'm going and I'm rolling tape. on. That's good. How many times they have to stop filming because Wayne's over there giggling right. hysterically. Or we can do a hot interview with a caterer or something like that. You know? <laughs> I've, I, no, I've heard that actually if you go on a porn set, it will... It, I mean, it's like going to see how hamburgers are made. I You'll it. never eat a hamburger again. I've heard the same thing. It is just slow, and it will just suck your soul out. That's yeah. what I've heard. I, yeah, it takes all the magic out of it, I think. Like yeah. a, you don't have a fast-forward button. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. But that's what I want to see. I want to see I definitely the nuts see and bolts it. of it. Um, and if we could, could you say the title of the movie? No, no, no. No, we're just okay. going to we'll call it... Uh, Death Star Adventures. Yeah. Um, <laughs> really? <laughs> so, Cousin Ed was supposed to be on tonight's show. Missing uh, a big one, Ed. I know. Football got in the way for him? No, he not might. football. His uh, underage girlfriend's uh, parents want to have dinner. Probably like that guy that, uh, you know, had the 14 year old girlfriend and he was 18 and the parents wanted to have a good talking to him and he oh. shot him in the face. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, Ed might be listening right now, driving around. He's pulling could, up at a restaurant. Ed could be on the lamb. <laughs> He's looking for the, the buttons. Get uh, me anything off that station. Um, yeah, what, what, is, what do her parents think of their daughter dating a guy who's like in a wheelchair. Twice as old as her. <laughs> in a wheelchair. Because, <laughs> wheelchair. right, she, she's what? She's 20 and he's... 22, Almost I heard. 40? Let's yeah. give it, let's give I heard 22. Okay, she's 15 22. Years she can drink. 15 yeah. years different. That's, right. that's not so Look, good. if you had a daughter and it, you know she brought home a guy who was 15 years older. I'd shoot him in the face you exactly before he could would. shoot me yeah. in the face. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but you put him see, in the wood chipper. You're not, you're not looking at, you know, who knows where this girl came from and her background, her parents. This could be like meeting a doctor for her family. Or it could be like a, a, a biker yeah. in Queens who rescues a girl from sleeping in the back of a car to sleep in his uh, bedroom and then filming it. <laughs> she she signed over uh, a clause saying she was in. So this week, um, I don't know what the th- porn theme is, but uh, Cousin Ed w- had Mary Carey on his show, um, who is a legendary porn star. She's been on Stern. She's been on Opie and Anthony. She usually is pretty whacked when she's doing these... Uh, shows and when ed had her on his show this week he was pretty convinced that she was coked out she was sniffing a lot um here's a clip mary carrie's hanging out with us in the studio and i say us because uh, tanya obviously what porn star can i come up i want to be there too (laughs) i'm the one Ooh, maybe that's cousin ed calling or maybe it's uh someone telling you not to roll the (laughs) tape you might get fired (laughs) who's this the commissioner. Oh, I was just starting to play your uh, your interview with Mary Carey. Did you? Uh, you didn't hear the part where we were talking about you, but did you? Where are no, you right now? I'm, I'm in Philadelphia. Of course, I didn't. Oh, all right. I'll tomorrow, edit that out. Tomorrow online at laslo.com. Oh boy, <laughs> is your website back up yet? No, it's being rebuilt. Okay. So, so cousin- you can't hear it at CousinEd.com. C-O-U-Z-I-N-E-D.com. Cousin Ed uh, joining the show. Now, you were supposed to do this is the biggest show ever. Wayne, there's porn stars that are going to watch Wayne's tape from the 80s, and you've got to go have dinner with your girl's parents? Yeah, like I choose to have dinner and then skip out on porn stars. I'm a man! Yeah. I, evidently, you've been neutered because you're down there at Outback Steakhouse explaining why you're uh, robbing her to the cradle. Yeah, and then I get back home. We just got back from dinner, and uh, we're watching her dog from her ex, and it's a pit bull, and it's up on my pool table, and as it, I start to yell at the dog for being on my pool table, it, it whizzes on it. Oh. <laughs> Dude, that's a beautiful pool table. 
Yes, thank God. And you know what? It's funny. I have a cover on it, but on top of the cover is the American flag. So the dog whizzed on the American flag. So I think we may have to execute the dog, dude. That's treason. That's <laughs> that, high treason. You have to right. kill the dog at this point. It's going to be that dog and Cheney. And they're <laughs> they're done. Let's just do it with put them in front of the firing squad at the same time. So you know, I was starting to play this uh, bit of you with Mary Carey. You, she was pretty out of it. Uh, yeah, she got really out of it. And then later that night, she kept talking about drinking. She went to do her little dance thing at the local go go bar. And apparently, at two o'clock in the morning, she passed out on the bar. That's hot. Like most strippers, you know, they can make it till two o'clock. They're fine up on the pole, and then they come down, and then all the drugs and alcohol at the system, and then their history. Yeah, well, she evidently is pretty whack typically when she's doing shows. Uh, yeah, and whacked on my show. <laughs> yeah, so let's play a little bit of this, and I don't know if you're even going to be able to hear it because this board was uh, wired by Gary Coleman. Probably not Viacom. <laughs> Mary Carey's hanging out with us in the studio, and I say us because uh, Tanya, obviously, what, porn star? Can I come up? I want to be there, too. <laughs> I'm the one who got her here. And all my friends are calling, too. Who is this chick, Tanya? She's the spokesmodel? Yeah, she's the free FM spokesmodel. Oh, God. Dude, let me talk to her. Laz- Tell him to come see me naked. Laszlo's on the line here. Yeah, she'll be at Oasis tonight, <laughs> tomorrow. Now, I know Tanya <laughs> wanted to interview you because this is her first yes. professional interview yet. But I, so didn't, cute. I wanted to teach Tanya. She was a prestigious dancer, like went on to a prestigious school Yeah, in she Florida. took ballet classes and everything. Will you be doing any pirouettes around the pole at Oasis? Good word, Ed. I'll definitely be doing Where did you learn this pirouette word? The which one? Pir- pirouette. It's a ballet word. It's like, you know, when the girl's up on her tiptoes and it spins around and... Uh, all right. I'm cultured. All right, here we go. Doing some splits and st- you know straddles and like pulling my leg over my head. Look, enough of this palaver. Have those two make out. <laughs> For sure, but we'll have to do it later in the club on stage. Off the air. <laughs> Off the air. What's the point of that? This is live radio. <laughs> no, my boyfriend can't get mad at me. <laughs> oh. See, Ed, this is you know I was trying to get things going. Interviews with porn stars are the most boring, done thing ever. Well, have you played the part where you asked the wrong question? Oh, yeah, I do. <laughs> Here, what's the- Cousin Ed, on my K-Rock show on Sunday, which you'll be on, we've got a porn producer who's coming by. Uh-huh. And because uh, we're going to, you know, watch Wayne's uh, sex tape from the uh, 1980s when he's banging a homeless girl. One of the guys on the show is named Big Wayne. Oh, wow. Do you have any porn tips for Big Wayne? Um, well, you know, just take some Viagra. See... This is what, like, the porn industry is ruined now because of Viagra. I mean, it's like there's no real, you know, I can keep going the extra mile, guys. It's all pharmaceutically induced. I don't like what, you know, everybody says watch a porn with your girlfriend. I don't agree with that. Right. Because you watch porn with your girlfriend, she assumes that you are inadequate. Right. Because she's watching these guys going, wow, look how long he lasts. And he lasted that long with a porn star in eight different docking positions. And and she... (laughs) She, she prefers to, to reminisce uh, over the, the Mighty Mouse video that you used to uh, lure her in at the candy shop. She can hear you right now. I can put you on speakerphone. Okay, let's go back to this. <laughs> That's a, they all take Viagra. That's one thing they all do. But, Cousin, we've been invited. They're, they're actually doing a porn shoot after uh, the show, and we've been invited to stop by. So I wanted to ask Mary Carey if it's sort of like, you know, when a band member's in town, they'll just sort of sit in. Do you ever just go sit in on a porn? Well, most of the porn's, like, shot in L.A., like a cameo appearance? I mean, I've come to, I've gone and visited a few sets, like, if my friend's working and she needed a ride or something, but for the most part, I try to avoid it, because sometimes it makes me nauseous, so I just try not to go. So you wouldn't just, like, come come join in? No, no. There's probably unions and crap where you have to sign papers these days. Is there a porn union? No, I, you know, I was thinking about starting one of those, but um, it's pretty impossible because you have all these, like, you know, foreign girls that come over and work, and I, yeah, I don't they know. They work people, for cheap. But most of a lot of people in porn just aren't smart enough to like really make a union work. And if you guys protested, would it be a giant rat with some kind of sex toy in his hand? <laughs> it's always a big rat. <laughs> do you have a financial advisor? Um, oh no, my god! Kind of, I do. Kind no, of. No, I'm curious because I- here, here's where your spokesmodel starts asking her financial advice. <laughs> oh, that was ridiculous. Uh, it's like what you know. Boring, right? <laughs> ask those questions during commercials. Come Why on. do you have this dinghy broad in the studio with you anyway, Ed? Because everybody has somebody to talk to, and I look like a fool, and I talk to myself. So I just look for anybody on the street to grab. Hey, I'll talk to you. Ah, uh, 
Excellent. Buy me yeah, three hundred in one year. I'm turning Kanye's mind off. Why? I don't want to know. You're question. talking about mutual funds. Nobody cares. Yeah, I, I want to know stuff like. my financial advisor. Laszlo. <laughs> this isn't the conversation. <laughs> you want Give me one more question. I, I got to get to these calls. Money. Our phone lines are ringing like right, right now. Everybody <laughs> wants to talk to Mary Carey. So <laughs> these are not good answers. Go ahead. Honest. Go ahead, Les. <laughs> um, how many abortions have you had? I, I've never had any. <laughs> 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 that was the question that uh, stopped your interview. Oh, how many abortions have you had? Yeah, yeah. And then w- and she was off in the, and then you, she was off in the bathroom throwing up, and she went to the bathroom to throw up. And I, I said, "What for?" And then Tanya said, "Because she said she's pregnant." And I'm like, well, <laughs> right. then "Why is she talking about drinking the whole time if she's pregnant?" That's great. I do. That is kind of hot when you see a pregnant person. And drinking. she never had one abortion. <laughs> She's right, another I, first one right, right now. I never have a. <laughs> that was it. That was why it really threw her. The fact that when Laszlo asked that question, she was actually having an abortion at the time. Right. No, I think it doesn't. It's a miscarriage. It doesn't count. Right. Technically, I'm having an abortion right now. Ninety-four one three FM. Right. <laughs> So, what else has been going on in your show? Wait, you had oh, didn't you tell me he had the greatest thing ever happen this week? He this guy wanted tickets so bad that he for let him concert for what concert? Him? It's like Bam Margera's favorite band. I think they're from Sweden or something. <coughs> but wow. this, this guy calls up. He goes, "My best friend and my girlfriend want to go to the show." I'm like, "Are you willing to lose your girlfriend for the tickets?" He says, "Sure." I was like, "All you guys come up here." So they all show up at the station like very last second. I'm like, "I'm on the air maybe five more minutes." I'm like, "All right, let's go." Who's the boyfriend? I made him kiss the girl just to make sure they were boyfriend girlfriend. Then I threw the boyfriend out of the studio, made him watch from the outside window. Then I had his best friend take his girlfriend's shirt off and bra, pour honey on her boobs, and lick it off while the boyfriend sat outside and watched. Oh, that's horrible! See, that's what I need to be with Ed. <laughs> yeah, why don't you go be? By the way, Wayne is looking to ditch uh, Reed and I, and he he he. I wasn't want- looking to ditches. If things didn't work out, I'm looking to uh, entrepreneur my way into the industry. <laughs> Wayne, l- let me just say, I'm drinking a uh, Schlitz Pounder right now while doing the show. What are you drinking? I'm on a Schweppes ginger ale. Uh, excuse me, <laughs> seltzer water. Did Did you just use entrepreneur as a? I think I don't know if that was the proper. Well, I'm looking to yeah. I, have I'm you ever getting... have you ever actually diagrammed a sentence? No. no. <laughs> yeah, that was a multisyllabic word for you there, Wayne. Yes, it was. <laughs> that was a stretch. Hit rewind. We want to hear that. But one again, the people knew what I was saying. They the listeners know what I was saying. It so, was the intent, right? They, they might hear me on another station one day. Another so, another, so you, you, another role. Hey, hey, did you play the part of the interview where our, our spokesmodel thought? Gary Coleman was or is now the governor of California? No, because I was so horrified at how dingy the spokesmodel yeah. is for I your radio station. I talked to her about, like, okay, Mary Carey ran for governor. I said, against who? And she says, Arnold Schwarzenegger. I said, who else? And she doesn't know. I said, Gary Coleman. She goes, oh, he's the governor now. I was like, no. I said, and one of the other guys that ran against him was Gallagher. And she goes, I'm not into politics. <laughs> The guy with the melon and the watermelon, yeah, Gallagher. What a dingy broad. <laughs> I would love to find out how much she gets paid to like show up at uh, events for your radio station. She doesn't need to get paid. She's got a boyfriend that takes her out. Her boyfriend took her out the other night. I called him the next day. I was like, how much you spend last night on that date? $2,000. Did you get laid? No. See, Wayne's got a rule. A friend of ours who is named Chemical Chris yeah. for his ability to pop pills and, and pop... <laughs> and uh, distribute them. And distribute them. Uh, was going out with this chick, and Wayne told him the limit is 1100 bucks. If you spend 1100 bucks on a chick and you haven't got action... Well, I think... I made the limit up right then because he started telling me how much money he was spending, and I was like, ah, it doesn't seem like you're going to get some action, dude. So that's, that's, that's probably like $1,100 throughout the course of like four or five days. Correct. I mean, that's what it was. This was 2000 in one night. That's why you have hookers. You could have had five hookers at that point. You don't like this one, move on to the next one. Exactly. Yeah. $1,000. Yeah, well, she also said the other thing that chicks love to say, I just, I just want to be friends. Oh, Wayne's yeah. got a line for that too. Uh, my friend card is full, sweetheart. <laughs> I need to get a late. Get to the end of the line. <laughs> I got too many friends of this. I got too many friends. Right. Friends are called guys, okay? Right. So, uh, Ed, we'll let you get back to um, where are you? You're in the parking lot of Outback Steakhouse? No, we already went to dinner. We're already home. Where'd you go? Where'd you take them? Uh, we were going to go to a place called Jones. We ended up at a place called Apollo. The girlfriend was really upset because, you know, she wanted to impress him. We ended up some pasta joint. She was upset because she couldn't draw on the table with the crayons? <laughs> <laughs> Gideon Poles. Yeah, okay. I'm going to tell her that. She's going to hear this on oh. Laszlo.com. Okay. <laughs> Dude, we'll see you next time. Goodbye. Later. Got to hit the button.
That was good. Yeah. He's got the life down <laughs> he there. He does. Dude. Got you know the what? Life. Before he had a girlfriend, he was on fire. Yeah. On fire. See, that's the part he forgets about the two thousand, the friend that, well, the guy who spent the two thousand bucks is that there's certain ones you want to chase, there's certain ones you want to bang, so you go a lot of money, <laughs> <laughs> you go deep, right? And you know, usually, you know, after about two or three years, you can tell by the size of the diamond how deep they go. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I won't comment about your diamond purchasing no, then. That's right. Don't comment on my diamond <laughs> purchasing. <laughs> like Wayne, Wayne beat up beat up a Hasidic person. <laughs> Shook him down. Shook him down. So uh Hey, she didn't know. <laughs> just so, God. Um just so you know, uh, Reed, Wayne has uh, already planned to abandon the big Christmas show. Because uh, you know, Christmas is a Sunday. You're hitting the eject button. No, he's no. A, he's a, he's officially made a proclamation, and I think the rest of America should join him. Uh, Christmas is over. Christmas is done. It's for the kids. I have no kids. You know, I have a couple nieces and nephews. I'm all down for it for them. But December 24th, my friend, I'm on the Big Bird to Jamaica for seven days of smoking. <laughs> <laughs> he's good. Hey, after he heard my smoking. stories from the place, he decided I, that that is his uh, motherland. Yeah, definitely. He's gone. He's out of here. Yep. But, right. you know, I think he brings up an interesting interesting point because, dude, Christmas ha- is completely out of control. I am already dreading every day between now and the 26th. Yeah. Well, you, it used to have a little excitement, you know, but it's over. And it's not just Christmas. It's the holidays. we got to put that term. There's Kwanzaa. There's Hanukkah. It's all horse it's festivus. It's all horse festivus. festivus. <laughs> yeah. It's, I, dude, it's like no matter what you do, you end up spending several grand. Mm-hmm. You can't stop it. Who are you buying gifts for? Not you. Well, this, <laughs> year, suck. this year, that's what that's what my logic is. The th- several thousand you're going to spend, we're spending on ourselves and going and having a nice vacation. <laughs> he's going to spend. He's going to show up at the I airport. Mean, I'm pretty sure we're going above and beyond what we would normally spend for our family and gifts. But mm-hmm. we said, you know, it's really something. You know, you buy the same things year after year, and it's over. We and take- you know what? It's so bad. You go to these family things you don't want to go to. You've got a like a carload of garbage, and I'm telling you. We will come back from something, and I will be picking stuff up and throwing it in the garbage before it even goes into the house. What kind of gifts are you this getting? You can throw right away. I got a Ranger yep. sweatshirt. Oh, oh man! You better just... shush up soon, my friend. <laughs> I, I've never been to a Rangers game. Yeah, Laszlo does not like sports. I got. I mean, we know this. If he bought me like a who's, who's Space he, Invaders T-shirt or something, <laughs> you could know? the person that gave you the Ranger shirt quite possibly be listening? Are well, you sending a message? No, you're not. No. Uh, you no. felt like you got an inferior no. gift or I something? A, there's a member of, of, of my family yes. that tends to buy things that fell off the truck. Right. And then just, just I questioned the VCRs fall off the truck the other day. And then distribute them for Christmas. Like yeah. my vacuum cleaner, for instance, yeah, fell the, off a truck somewhere in Connecticut. Well, that's a good gift, a vacuum cleaner. The yes. Other, the other day, it gives me, yep. a, gives me a VCR to make a copy of the tape, right? So I get home, and it's got a tape in it, and it won't eject out. So mm-hmm. he comes over, we take the whole thing apart, we realize it's garbage. I come to his house the next day, he goes, I got another one. Sure enough, I Show up. It's the same exact VCR. I was like, these had to fall off a truck. There's no way you get two of them. <laughs> but nowadays, have you been to like a, an electronic store recently? Have you seen that? I haven't bought a VCR in a while, but you go in there and you can buy a VCR basically for 50 like bucks. a dollar and a pack of Skittles. <laughs> even give you a VCR. Even, it's cra- I saw them for like honestly like twenty dollars. I remember when the DVD player came out. There was you know there's always that early adopter friend that yeah. has to have the new thing. Yeah, he spent like a thousand something dollars for this DVD player. Ridiculous. It's just. Idiotic. Uh, yeah, now they're like, and every piece bucks. of technology they bring along, this one ain't going to skip. Which at any, like you sneeze in the general direction of a DVD, and the thing is skipping, pictures locking up. What kind of DVD you got? I don't know. Mid time to invest in another one. Well, yeah. you know, there's a. Yeah, it's time for you to invest in a new VHS. There's a, there's a, there's a, there's a yeah, especially since it's been befouled by uh, Wayne. So we're going to see you naked is in, in next hour. Yes, Only, sir. but he's wearing tube socks. Apparently, is that right? Tube up socks. to your knees, and they've pretty much the, pulled up with colored stripes. <laughs> and I hear the bottom of the feet are very dirty, like you've been sliding down. Uh, oh yeah, Tom well, Cruise well, style well, with the microphone in your mouth. Gray and black and, and stuff. the girl did not ask you politely you know do you Rainbow want to take the off socks? the socks i don't think that was a i don't think that was an issue back then she dug the socks i don't know she never, turned on by the socks never really came up it really never came up or she was homeless she was just great right. to have a place to stay just i think yeah stuffed a five dollar bill in her <laughs> pants and kicked her out no there's uh, a new there's a new netflix porn now you know netflix where you can subscribe and they send you dvds and then when you're done with that i heard about this there's one called wanted list and it's it's just uh, for adult titles. That's great. But it's kind of weird, though, because you get one, and you don't know what creep 
was touching it before you. Laz, Laz has got a problem with sharing his porn. You're a germaphobe. I don't have any porn. No. I'm telling you, I don't I, even want to have these porn stars here. I'm not into okay. it. Oh, uh, now. Remember what I said to you yesterday about when I came up on the house and you didn't answer the door? I came around I know, the and side. I came to the door and I was zipping my pants up. <laughs> I know. <laughs> uh, we got to go to break. Um, coming up later on, as we said, uh, porn producer Joe Gallant is coming by with a couple of porn stars and they are going to view Wayne's tape and performance. Uh, of him in the 80s. Uh, we've also got some stuff from the guys that did the Matrix video game and the new Star Wars Battlefront 2 game. You played that yet, Reed? What's Alaska? You, you you have video game night with your buddy, don't you? We do, but we only play sports games like NBA Street Homo. and hockey. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with being in your 30s and playing video games, Wayne. All right. Oh, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, plus some audio of some drunk chicks getting arrested. But since we're on uh, the Christmas thing, here's... Uh, a little bit of uh, that Ollie G did on uh, religion and Christmas. Yo, so diggity check yourself before you wreck yourself because I is here with four people who is all four about something called religion. Well, let's talk about this man, the main man, the Mac Daddy of the Christian thing. What was his name again? Jesus Christ. Yo, that's the one geezer with the tash and the sandals and everything. That's the way he's portrayed in contemporary art, yes. What day is he meant to have been born on? We celebrate his birth on the 25th of December. Ain't that a coincidence that he was born on Christmas Day? No. Why did Jesus go around with all them reindeers? I'm not sure I've seen the same image as you've seen. I think you're confusing him with Santa Claus. So does Jesus really exist, or is it just your father yes. dressed up? Yes, Jesus exists. Is it true that he was born in a stable? It's possible. No room in the inn, that sort of thing. There was no thing. room in the... Well, that, yeah. Well, that's because it was Christmas, isn't it? Let's talk about marriage. Would you ever marry someone who weren't the Jewish? Uh, I wouldn't, and the reason I wouldn't is because the family that I want to create is a family that's going to have Jewish values in it. What if she was really, really fit, though? Doesn't matter. That's what, not the most important thing in life to me. What about if Foxy Brown came in here now and said, yo, me want to marry you? Uh, the answer is, if she's not Jewish, you're not willing to convert to Judaism, she's got her tradition, she's got her way of doing things, she should live her own life and build her own family. Mm. Ain't it hypocritical that so many nuns also work part-time as strippers? Well, I don't think you can <laughs> demonstrate that statistically. Yo, That's an absurd statement that you've just made. <laughs> no, it ain't. I have been at my mate Ricky C's 21st, and there was this nun that came in, oh, and like, this like 10 so, minutes later, she had a bubble on out with... So you Shady just said, you just, but you just said so many nuns work as strippers, and then you said this one. <laughs> she well, could she have said been. her name was Sister Fista. But, but she... It was a part of her act, was that, that really who she was? Yeah. I would really prefer that you move off this topic because I find it offensive. It's not yeah. documented by any kind of evidence. We've it's got a video. hearsay. It's That's hearsay. Got a video of it. Yo, so we just want to say big up all yourselves. Keep it real. The Laszlo Show. A message from Heineken USA. Dad, can I dye my hair purple? Mom, can I get a motorcycle? Can I go to Mexico with my new boyfriend? Can I live out in the garage? Can I yes. join a traveling circus act? Yes. Sometimes parents just have to say no. Can I have a beer? Can yes. I have a beer? Especially when it comes to alcohol. We all have to be responsible when it comes to underage drinking. So let's do the right thing and wait till they're 21. Even if it's home. Even if it's supervised. Boo. A reminder from Heineken USA. Please visit enjoyheinekenresponsibly.com. Heineken USA, White Plains, New York. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> oh, man. All right. We're back. This is the last. Lip. What are you doing, slamming the microphone over there, Wayne? Yeah, hey, I didn't know whether we were on the air or not. Oh, okay, we're back. I'm starting to get nervous. Were you? Yeah. Well, okay. Good. I think you should show me your junk. If you're <laughs> going to see my junk, I want to see your junk. <laughs> that next and hour. your junk too, Reed. We just have a mutual sharing hour. Are you helmet or and eater? Okay, so we've uh, got. Um, <laughs> this is the last love show. If you've, uh, I'm going to pot you down and. Uh, um, you know, he points out to people, he's like, yeah, I'm really not up to my full potential because Laszlo he runs the board. He can just shut me off. Like, if you, 
If you missed last week, last week's show was the best of, but the one before that was, I think, our best ever. We had Bill Burr, who killed on he, this show. Yeah. Killed. He talked for like an hour straight. We didn't say a He didn't eat us damn for Dude, I went across the street, had lunch, <laughs> came back. He's still talking about something. He was on I fire. I love him, though. I want to listen to the show. He had a whole bit just on going on raises. Four blade raises. Took another 10 minutes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He, um, he was actually on uh, Opie and Anthony all this week, uh, and I was on their show uh, Tuesday. And that clip is posted at Laszlo.com as well. So it's on there for like an hour and a half, and I posted the whole thing. Maybe you put a, one of those on a best of. What, put O&A on a uh, best of? A little clip of you. It's Pomoni. It's yeah. you. It's not O&A. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not. It's O&A, and I like pipe in about every five minutes with a dumb comment about Star Wars or something. Mm. Um, and on our day off last Sunday, did my voice crack just there? Sort of a, yeah, Peter Brady. Yeah. It was good. I was bad two weeks ago, dude. Yeah, dude, yeah. Oh, I was listening. If you ever actually listened to the to the show on the site, mm-hmm. I was my voice was shot. Well, that was a, what was his health issues, right? What was yeah. going on there? Well, I, I don't know. I stopped drinking, and then I fell, fell to pieces, so I started drinking again, because my immune system's just not used to sobriety. So you're back to drinking? Who knows? Okay. You know, maybe I hide in the bathroom like J.J. Walker in that <laughs> episode of Good Times. Oh, was, do you remember that? He had vodka in the toilet. Very special. Um, but I went over to Wayne's house when we had the day off, and Wayne was painting the uh, Love Den, mm-hmm. which is nicotine stained, well, now, not like you've it. never seen. And um, Wayne had sweatpants on with a t-shirt tucked into the sweatpants. And it looked so ridiculous. Even his girl was like, Wayne, will you please don't tuck a t-shirt into sweatpants? See, I got that safety conscious thing from work, you know? No tails out, no jewelry, no hair. Why, well, they're going to get caught in like a, a wood chipper sw- or something? Yeah, you never know. Just Serious? Rip, rip, dude, with this beard, you think I want it yanked off? Yeah, That's he's true. got a beard down to his All waist. Right? You got you to gotta tie up your beard I put work? it inside my t-shirt. You got a hairnet for that thing? <laughs> <laughs> you ever shot yourself with a nail gun? No, yes. but I... You you know you what? have? Yeah, sure. You shot yourself with a nail gun? Yeah, yes. sure. You know, come on, yeah. Yeah, I, sh- I told you guys a couple weeks ago I shot myself in the hand with the nail gun. Wow. You yeah. trying to do like a like sort a of self-Jesus thing? Or like what a, you a stigmata? No. I can never get the last nail. <laughs> <laughs> Young one's reference. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, so I've got to get a picture of Wayne in these sweatpants. He says I, it's a safety issue. You're painting. What are you going to do? I don't, you never know. I don't want to get hung up on something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wouldn't want to get hung up on fashion. <laughs> Uh, hey, you don't want to go there, Mr. Fashion Boy. Oh, really? Yes. What do you got? No, what do you got? <laughs> what do you got? <laughs> I got old style. I'm still in dungarees and pocket tees, you know? Dungarees. Uh-huh. I don't even know what that is. Sounds like How something about jeans. Does, is, does this tape have sound? It's so low. Uh, you might, it, have, to, you might the, have to hold that thing up to it it's to from amplify the, it. It's from the 80s, right? <laughs> yes, yeah. Well, should, I thought, you said, but there's no talking in it. It's no, all. It was all dubbed over, you know, because at the time I didn't know how to put it. I didn't know how to do anything with the audio. So when I edited it, I dumped in a feed from, uh, I believe, DRA, LIR. Right. So we're talking music from actual, like, 1983, correct, all the commercials, If I'm correct, if like you that. listen really low, you're going to hear Big Country, which actually is funny. Is I thought I'd seen it programmed up here in our big playlist country? right now. Isn't that Big Country down there at, like, uh, what, the stuff we're not 630? No, that's, that's Bat Country. Oh, Bat Country. <laughs> from over here, it looks like Big Country. But uh, I think you can hear a little big country in the background. Okay. So it's not like an old uh, talkie or, you know, they, <laughs> talkie. They, they go to like the <laughs> black screen and there's... No. No. All right. Talkie. I'm getting a little excited about it. Yeah, but dude, next yeah. hour, Big Wayne's going to be uh, showing us his tape and um, we're evidently and going to hope, be... But last also, we might try something here in the future. If any of you amateurs out there have a tape... <laughs> And maybe we could preview it and then pass it on to the porn producer. So if you got so, any tapes, you send them to last. So since we're doing Porn Idol tonight, you're saying that we could do like a, have it as a bit. And we don't want no guys just pleasuring themselves. Because <laughs> there's a ton of guys that are willing to videotape that and send it to you. You'd be surprised. How, how so, does he know this? I don't know. Because yeah. this old guy's got, you know testosterone they just want to have you know a good time a good laugh so they're going to so, do whatever it takes to make yeah Wayne's idea is to um, you know make Porn Idol like a monthly bit where we have like mm-hmm. people send in their tapes and last night we were talking about this uh, over dinner and uh, you know maybe the guy has to scream out oh Yoko and she has yeah. to scream out oh give it to me Reed right wouldn't that be great wouldn't that be great <laughs> Yeah. When I was in high school, though, what we always wanted to do was take our, our video camera, get a bunch of our friends, and actually 
cut ourselves into an established porno movie, you know what I'm saying? Like, yes. uh, you know, you would cut to you, like, actually starting to pull down your pants, and then you would cut to, like, the porno star doing it, and then you would cut to some some action, and then you cut to your face, uh-huh. you know what I'm saying? You could do the whole thing. Now, with computers, you could probably do it. Yeah. Yeah. I, you yeah. know, somebody... I gotta tell you, uh, my chick's boss uh, likes to take, uh, you know, pictures out of Playboy and stuff like that and put my old lady's head just where, <laughs> where, where it belongs on. Man. Yeah. Hey, it's a, it's, a good, it's a good joke, you know. You know, we played that bit from uh, Ollie G. He does that other character, the Barat guy, you know, who says he's from Kazakhstan. Yeah. And, uh, you know, uh, we rape a dog, you know, he does that whole character. Mm-hmm. And I read last year that Kazakhstan was really upset because they because people now think that you know the people from Kazakhstan are uh, cow punching and you know sleeping with their sisters and, and not. exterminating the Jews so they're th- they're threatening legal action against uh, what's his name Sasha Barra Cohen yeah um, but first did you even know that Kazakhstan was a real place I, I have say, never I, have I, no, I, I thought it was like I'm a pretty educated guy yeah, and I've never, never heard of the damn place no. until Ali G started making fun of it I th- yeah, I thought it was imaginary or like one of those countries we bought for like a handful of beads back in the 1930s, you know what I'm saying? Seriously. But yeah, I, guess I never he, heard of it. He did the character on the uh, MTV Europe Music uh, Award show, and the Kazakhstan people uh, are very upset, say they're going to sue. It's the ninth largest country. In what? In the world. Come on. It's what uh, Yahoo News says. Wow. So, yeah, so, you know, he may get sued. They probably need money. If nobody's heard of their stupid... When you say the largest, are you meaning like in population or in <laughs> land? I would probably say land. Uh, in land. I'd say there's probably, you know... A couple. Or maybe in total wealth. Um, but I think, I guess what upset them is uh, at the beginning of the show, he arrived in a an Air Kazakhstan propeller plane controlled by a one-eyed pilot clutching a vodka bottle. It was the opening of the show. I'd love to see this clip, dude. <laughs> It's weird. Ali G has like a different show in Europe because every time I'm over there for work, mm-hmm. I'll turn on the TV and he's doing like this show and he's DJing. Mm-hmm. It's a completely different vibe than what he does here. And what's amazing is that people still don't recognize him when he rolls into the room as Borat or whatever. If people in Kazakhstan know who he is and we don't even know where that is. Correct. Can there be anyone left in the entire world that does not recognize Ali G? Um, and something else I wanted to bring to your attention, just to, to show you the compassionate conservatism going on in this country. Remember that Live 8 thing that went on earlier this yeah. year where there was like... Vaguely. There was, you know... <laughs> yeah. There was a billion concerts in all these right. uh, countries. They raised a ton of money. Uh, Bob Geldof crawled out of his box that he's in. Isn't that his name? Yeah. Well, Sir, That's the Sir thing. Bob? They didn't raise a ton of money. It was it was only for awareness. Remember? There was, oh. no, there was no money being raised. Well, that was helpful. Exactly. So I don't... Do you know what it was for? Well, I, no, they did raise a lot of money. There was the donation sites... There was. Uh, yeah, they did raise money. But, okay. um, you know, just to show you the, uh, you know, during a benefit concert, the Who performed that song, uh, Who Are You, which mm-hmm. contains the line, Who the F are you? Mm-hmm. Um, 12,000 FCC complaints. And it's they think that it's probably from that one organization that files all the all the complaints, that parent television council or whatever it is. Man. Filing complaints against... A charity. A charity. Thanks for your help. Yeah, right. Thanks for doing your part. <laughs> yeah, we appreciate uh, you that. You know, I could uh, go volunteer at this orphanage or maybe, you know, help some kids that that uh, need to learn to read. But I think I'll sit here and write protest letters because I don't like what's on the television. But don't, but don't you think that, you know, that song has been around for 20 years. You would think that someone would know that lyrics in there and be ready with the button. Or kind of tell them, hey, you got to say friggin'. <laughs> you know the British they're not going to yeah. say that yeah, yeah they're I know the they're British. not but you know they're making their money here in the US yeah I guess uh, Reed was sending me Twisted Sister news this week love that yeah I guess um, D. Snyder was at a concert and he, he started talking about how the people on the balcony yeah are the craziest and shine the lights up on there yeah he said everyone you know in the in the place needs to get up and get crazy and stand up out of your seat and he's like especially you up in the balcony you guys are a bunch of deadbeats <laughs> so apparently they turn on the lights and the the people up in the balcony uh they're in wheelchairs <laughs> <laughs> so you know if he wanted to really be cool He'd go up there and, like, kick him over, like, kick him exactly. out of the wheelchairs. You know, what's surprising to me about that is actually that somebody's still going to a D. Snyder concert. Did you guys know yeah, that this guy in, was still on the people road? People in wheelchairs. I know. I'm good friends with his brother. 
No way. Mark Snyder. Yes, yes. I am. They're yes. Long Island boys. So They're Long Island boys. What's D up to? He's still touring? He's still yeah, he singing does, he that does one big, song? Dude, he does a big radio show. He was oh, doing right. like a, yeah, and I think he was doing mornings up in Connecticut or something. I heard that too. You can't beat on D, dude. I'm he, not beating on him. He went in front of Congress when Gore's wife was, you know, trying to shut down two live crew or whatever that whole mess was about. Yeah, like 20 years ago. Right. All right, you're right. So I, he's, he's those people saint. are back, dude. Are you, they never went away. Every brother. twenty, I know they never went away. They were in church or something for a little bit. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is the Laszlo Show coming up in the next hour. The porn producer and the porn chicks will be here. Woo-hoo. We are going to watch this tape that Wayne has. Uh, it's going to scar you. It, it, we're, he's getting a little nervous. Have you checked him out? Yeah, he he is getting a little yeah, nervous. You, well, I still say these guys should show me your junk. <laughs> be fair. <laughs> We'll be back. Uh, this weekend is the Wyshea sales event. Too poor to afford real furniture? We've taken some wood chips and glue and smashed it into modernistic Swedish elegance. Save 25% on Schnaub, Schnork, Nubikin, Humlarp, Hensvik, Ingve Malmsteen, Udu, Gluvonk, Beyonce, Vessernan, Tunheim Lick by Kilsog, Rasforce, Zikuntad, Bjork, and Fludenbard. Come spend the day at Wyshea. Actually, you don't have much of a choice, as our Swedish maze of postmodern do will keep you wandering for hours. Why, Shia? We're more than just Stan Jen Herkin. Shania, the new fragrance for women by Stetson. Available at Target. Dude, if you're with a girl that has Shania Twain perfume, yeah. uh, what, is it, what does it smell like? I don't know, but I think I was just thinking it, it's... Maybe not right for K-Rock, but I'd rather smell like Shania Twain than like corn. You know, it's like, <laughs> smell like disturbed. Right. That'd be What's great. That? It smells like bus station, I think is what that smells like. <laughs> right. But smell, it, smell like you just swallowed your own vomit. But as a typical K-Rock listener, is the the, the kind who runs out to Dwayne Reed and buys the Shania? No, it, uh, it was uh, Target. Target. Anybody that me. buys cologne or perfume at Target. Is that they have that case that they have to go and unlock, you know what I'm saying? You ever seen that? Oh yeah, like, like, it's whoa, like oh yeah, the Drakkar Noir. Right, sorry, we wouldn't want that to go missing. <laughs> so, Wayne, <laughs> how actually old is this tape? Is it is it like war footage? Freedom, yeah. freedom is on the march. <laughs> Jerry's on the run, but here on the home front, Wayne's giving it to a homeless girl. <laughs> It's not that old, you know. This color, this color. I mean, come on, dude, it's VHS. It ain't that old. Come on. Nice. You put in a plug for war bonds. I think. I think when I made it though, you had to get up and press pause and record on the V set. It wasn't even remote. Make sure you pick up your war bonds and your tape of Big Wave, nailing Rosie the Riveter. <laughs> nice. We're gonna welcome the dandies yeah. back home. <laughs> But what, it's like 20 years old at least, right, Wayne? Yeah, it has good quality to the, you know, I, I recorded this in SP, you know what I'm saying? I, yeah. Only the two-hour of the six-hour tape. What does that mean? I remember you know, that. It was you, like... you could, you know, use the tape to record for six hours, four hours, oh, I or remember. two. So it's right. recorded in the two-hour format to get, like, the best grain, you know, the best picture. <laughs> the best grain. What is she, a cow? Because <laughs> it was a keepsake that you were going to save for right. many years. Did you right? ever think that you would be this old... Looking back on this tape, no, no. And, and for, why have you saved it all these years? You just like to break it out for a laugh, or do you like to break it out? And well, it's uh, funny. The other day when my wife came home, she you know said, you know, did you uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> one time, one last time? And I was like, you know, it's kind of hard, you know, to. Uh, Wait, I don't speak whistle. What exactly was that? <laughs> but did she, uh, is that like dog speak? Uh, yeah, you just don't know what whistle is. You don't I, know. I, I I had an idea what right. you're talking about. You're talking yeah. about. Shuffling the deck of cards. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. You know? Uh-huh. So, Is that what happened, though? Is that what no, happened? No, I actually, it didn't work for me, you know, kind of because I, I kind of looked at it, and I looked at myself, and it's like, I don't even remember myself looking like this. Mm-hmm. So, you know, and I have you... lost some brain cells along the way, but I didn't think <laughs> I forgot what my own identity looked like, but there, it's like a period, like, a, uh, I really can't maybe identify with myself. What do you mean, what your identity looked like? Yeah, kind of like, you know, the, where I was at this time in my life and the look I had. And, and you mean physical look? Like physical you had, look, yeah. Because right now you're bald, you have a dreadlock beard the same down your shit. waist. Yes, to have a full head of hair uh-huh. and no bald spot. And, uh, yeah, I came to terms with that. Yeah, I was a young Ron Jeremy. Because <laughs> I was never slender, you yeah. know, so. All right. So uh, tonight, the big tape of uh, Big Wayne and a homeless girl in the 80s will be watched by Joe Gallant, the porn producer, 
and two stars. Mm -hmm. Where are they, Reed? They said they were in a car. They're going to be here in like two minutes. So now, are they in a limo? Them. These are actually, these chicks are from L.A. Yeah, that's what he said. He said they were really cool and fun, and uh, I guess we'll see for ourselves. Dude, I got mad uh, hate mail this week because I was on Opie and Anthony, what? and I was dissing Nintendo. You Why would, were you? Uh, huh? Why were you? I was just talking about how the new Nintendo handheld unit doesn't really compare to the new Sony PSP. Mm -hmm. And I started getting these emails like, dude, you got your nose so far up Sony's butt because you worked on Grand Theft Auto. And I was like, no. I'm just saying, hey, all I'm saying is it's a different market, okay? The number one game on uh, Nintendo right now is Pokemon and uh, a thing where you play with a dog with a stylus. <laughs> right. Have you seen Nintendo Dogs? No. But you, I thought you have it, right? Yeah. But it's crazy, you know how territorial video game people get and geeks in general, they're like, when they roll with one gang, you know, that's it. It's like the Protestants and the Irish in Ireland, you know, it's like, yo, dog, I'm in the Xbox and I ain't going to talk to anyone who's down with PlayStation. Seriously. It's they're like, like the Jets and the Sharks. <laughs> they're in an alley snapping their fingers and fighting. Will Wheaton told me that he wrote, he writes that Games of Our Lives column in The Onion. Oh, yeah, and right. And so he like, talks about old video games and stuff from the 80s and even the 90s, but I guess he dissed some pinball game that was on Atari. He said that like all these Atari nerds came out of the woodwork mm -hmm. to beat him down about it. Dude, that's the greatest. First off, I've never understood pinball as a video game. No, exactly. They go to the arcade and play the stupid pinball. Yeah. Here, I read. I've got um, Nintendo dogs for you. You do? Yes, you, you must be nice to the dog because it's not mine. Is this the kind of thing where if you don't give it attention, you don't feed it, you don't use the stylus just right, it basically dies? Yeah. That's good. That's good for a, a kid's self-image. See, it's got nice little music. See, but that sounds so oh, easy to me. You're this right. This dog's dead. You, you killed, killed your dog, dog already? <laughs> oh, okay, he's all right. Because you know in Japan that one of the big things, they have something similar. Instead of a dog you're taking care of, though, it's a girlfriend. And then when oh. you don't pay her any mind, she dies, too, or she leaves That'd you for... That'd be great if you ignored your girlfriend and she died. I don't know if she died. She leaves you for a porn star, I think is what happens. Um, Me. Yeah, she leaves you for <laughs> Big Wayne. <laughs> See? So what is the point of that game? Um, You... Play with the dog. Mm -hmm. You whistle at him. I, and uh, all I gotta say is, people in Japan must be some. He's jacking his ass up in the air at me. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> How lonely are people in Japan? Come on, they need shove a video this stylus game. up this dog's. Come on, let's go. You calling it? Yeah, but he's not coming over. Dude, your dog is. Oh, I think he's. Uh, you staged know, staged a rebellion. Yeah, he's, he's ignoring me because I. <laughs> he's uh, in hunger, heat. famished, I thirst, thought... parched. Uh, he's never been fed. Well, uh, get, throw a brother a bone. Literally, um, come on. Uh, and I just got a, a text message from the person who owns the dog who says, my dog better not be dead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, all right. Let me turn this off before Oops. I... Yeah. Is the dog dead? Uh, no. He's just... It says he's famished in parts. Is it like a train pass? Is it dead? Yes. It's, <laughs> dude, I cannot tell you. When Wayne and I got busted by the Long Island Railroad for using train passes that we didn't own, like maybe somebody else had a monthly pass, and then they grabbed the one I had and they wrote on it and invalidated it. Dude, I've been hearing about it for two weeks, too. Basically, you're paying like $40 a round trip right now. <laughs> Dude, I, I, it, it cost me like $200, the whole endeavor. Yeah, my scooter's not looking so bad now, is it, fool? Oh, you're right, it is. <laughs> Actually, i got to tell you, i seen a Ducati little scooter that I was interested in for three grand. Ducati makes a scooter? Yeah, it was set up. Would you guys respect me then if I had that? I would definitely respect you if you had this one. All right, I may, I may have to drop $3,000 to gain respect. What would what, you pay for that one? Two. Right, so you ante up a little. Two grand? Mm-hmm. You can buy a woman for that. <laughs> um, <laughs> According to Cousin Ed. <laughs> so is there any real storyline in this video that you're going to make us watch tonight? Is it like you come rolling in with your car stereo? No. Because this is the 80s. That's back when the car stereos had the big, like, you pulled the whole stereo out of the dash. Like, nobody's going to steal my stereo. I'm going to walk with it down the street. And then when you're at a restaurant, you set it down and you forget it. <laughs> you remember no. those stupid things? There's no, there's no storyline. There's no pizza guy showing up. But there are credits, right? Did you did Some you give yourself a like a yes. did you give yourself a producer credit? You get a written mm, by? No, just a filmed, filmed, filmed by, and mm -hmm. I gave the production mm -hmm. company, I believe, a credit. Did What's that, the production company? You got when you read it, you okay. can say it. Okay, wow. You watch you can't the video say live. No names. Uh, no names. But you can say the production company, um, or whatever I put it. So in. when Reed's sister was on this show about oh, man. Three, four weeks ago, mm -hmm. she said Reed Tucker's full name, yes. his full real name, because we know that Reed is his uh, radio name. And, um, oh, is the porn guy here? Yeah. Bring it. 
Okay. Bring it on. Make sure you give them the the debriefing or the pre-briefing. Um, so yes, yeah, so she gave out Reed's full name, and uh, I did. I didn't. I didn't tell you this. He doesn't even wait to get out of the studio. He just he talks while he's. Well, not as professional as you, huh? Maybe you know you. You're the one that's A rated. I'm coming in like a D. He's probably got a C. No, he's much lower than you. Is he? By the way, w- when we got that offer recently, yeah, the pay scale went Laszlo. Wayne, I like it. Reed at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to do something about that, though. Right, and Reed doesn't know that. Okay, and he'll never know it because he doesn't listen back to the show. Because I tell him you should listen to see what we talked about. Should we give him a number on what he was going to get? Huh? What he was going to get? Oh, no, he was at least ten, twenty percent less. Oh, yeah. Dude, wow. I, listen, he's worth every penny, though. But so his sister said Reed's full name on the air. And Reed started getting packages from fans at his house. Get out of here. I What's swear. he been getting? Um, like people sending him uh, like copies of uh, GTA 3 that he was in. Um, but why would they send him a copy of a game he To knows sign it and oh, ship it and back. And here's back. the best part. They, they don't put the return postage, so he has to pay to ship them their own game That's back. That's amazing that these people would want just someone who is a voice participation in the game. It's an autograph. I, whatever, dude. It's a cultural phenomenon. I don't know. I, I, no, I don't has nobody know. asked you for your autograph because you were like a dealer in the park in San Andreas? I don't remember. Yeah, <laughs> I, I don't remember. I can't tell you the truth. So but. since we're doing Porn Idol, Wayne, I was uh, checking out American Idol clones from around the world. You know, everybody is doing dumb reality shows. Yes. And uh, in France, they have uh, French Idol. Okay. Uh, which this may explain why they're rioting over there. Okay. The, uh, <laughs> Le Schwagi. But French porn is- idol? <laughs> Schwagi. <laughs> uh, are there Schwagis over there? We. <laughs> we. Oui. Oui. <laughs> I don't take that as a, you know, a. Schwiggy country. I couldn't even say it anymore because I'm going to slip and say something else. Um, so this is from uh, the French Idol. A little bit Saturday night, far away up the other side. Get up, get down, get up, get down. We got check us stay now better every day. Shibante, get up, get up. Is it true? We got to shake your body. I actually recognize like the last part of it. I recognize shake your body too, but <laughs> after, after that, I'm, I'm blank know. before and after. This is why they're writing. Should we get out the shake your body? Don't let them come here. Hear him, hear him, hear him, hear him, hear him. Oof. They should they should cut the audio on. That. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's good to see that like uh, you know French people can't sing either. Wow. The, uh, home of the brave. Play ball. <laughs> <laughs> it's like glasses cracking. <laughs> it's like the French snuffleupagus. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Hello, bird. Need some crack? Is it this? Oh, moi, une fois dans sa vie. Seul au fond de son lit. Seul au bout de la nuit. That is amazing. Uh, I wonder if Simon Cowell was uh, part of that whole thing. I didn't actually... I would think you'd have to understand the language to actually know if it's uh, good or bad, though. Uh, no, dude, I know that's all bad. You know, that's only, all bad. That's all bad. But I will say that... the. The only music that I really can't tell if it's any good is like you know when you hear like traditional Chinese music, yeah, like okay. kong kong yeah. kong. I, it just it, every nerve in my body just explodes. I can't deal with it. Hmm. That's the worst music ever. It was amazing when someone wasn't on in the restaurant last night. That I think about it, you get those ding dong dong dong. <laughs> <laughs> so Rita's- what instrument is that anyway? Ding dong. Is that like the Glockenspiel? I don't know. That is an actual instrument, you know. I don't know. It's some Asian instrument. They Uh invented it with gunpowder, and then we nuked them. Um, (laughs) So, all right, I'm getting nervous now. uh, You should be getting nervous because we have. We're about, dude. You're about to be naked in front of strangers. It's it's like going to the doctor. What do you mean, go to the doctor? There's going to be two beautiful porn stars in here. If there's anybody I want to be naked in front of, it is two women. You and Reed, I don't want to be naked in front of. Okay, (laughs) I mean, yeah. But I think, still think, you know, somewhere by next summer. There's going to be a shower scene with me and you 
Where? Yeah. What well, are you we, talking we about? Might, we might go do a pool session or what something. What are you talking about? Well, I got to are you up now. We gotta, it's got to be 50-50. It's like a relationship. You're going in. I seen you, you know, I show you mine, you show me yours. <laughs> Dude, I'm not playing doctor with you. Uh, we're going to see if we can find uh, Reed and the uh, porn producers, and we'll be back in just a bit. All right. The Laszlo Show. Laszlo Show. Well, this is uh, episode 19. Uh, much ado about everything going on. We've got Reed out there uh, giving the porn producer and the porn stars the rundown of, you know, what they, they might not like that title. They might want a different what? title. I don't know what it, adult the actresses, actresses, adult actresses. Adult okay. actresses, sure. I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? No, what, what title like... what, what title you got? Are you a disc jockey? No, I, I, what is it, 1984? Yeah, well, what's your title? I don't know. Host. Ho- Vessie. So you you say you want to do your own internet radio show. Yeah, I'm thinking about it. If this doesn't work out for me, I might do my own thing in the evenings yeah. from, from the house. We gave a big scare to a lot of people last uh, week. They didn't know if the show was taken off yeah. the air. And we don't even know how much longer it's going to keep going. Well, that yeah. loss. You know, we don't know. Yeah. Um, so Reed's out there. I'm hoping it goes to the 4th. The 4th? Yeah. Of what? Of December. Oh, Yes, because we have Jim Florentine yes. booked. and then I have another whole revolving door opening up for me, maybe. Maybe doing some yeah. Comedy Central bits exactly. with Jim Florentine and uh, exactly. Club Soda I hope, Kenny. I hope Jim don't need the film. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? I hope he doesn't come with, I need to see the film to give you a part. <laughs> it's, uh, this is a once-in-a-lifetime viewing, and this is it. It's, so I, I, I found a thing that I think we should go attend. Uh, well, first off... Supposedly, we're going to go to these guys are shooting a video after our show. Correct. So we may go uh, to that, and I've got my recorder. Excellent. So if you are getting excited, yeah, it's a once in a lifetime event. I think we have to go. Yeah. Uh, but I'd I say get, for me, it'd be what? the second time. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's uh, these pillow fights that are being staged in cities around the nation. Um, I, they're sort of like flash mobs where people. Uh, Decide to just converge on a place and uh, do a certain crazy thing. Like it'll be posted on the net. Like everybody meet in uh, Penn Station and you know wearing red and then come break dance or something. But so they're having these now is where where people uh, they all gather in in a, in a place and and have pillow fights like in public places. That's gonna be amusing. Well, it's gonna be real amusing when we show up and we have like brass knuckles and stuff in the bottom. <laughs> Would that be the greatest? Coke Coke cans is always a good weapon. Oh, is it? Yeah. But, but put a Coke can in a... A bunch of Coke cans in a pillowcase, yeah. You ever whack somebody with that? No, I never had. But What have you hit people with? Well, it's, we're not going to go there. <laughs> why, why? I've done stupid things in life. Stolen cars? Yeah. Stole a couple of cars? A couple of cars. A couple of stores. Have you, uh, were you a big fan of the A-Team? No. <laughs> Those were the good guys. So you the, didn't want to know the good guys. So this music was never a... Uh... No. <laughs> this is like porn music. <laughs> yes, it's a mystery. I pity the fool with a should... small winget. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> don't be making fun of my size. What? Uh, no, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about Mr. T. Oh, he had a small winky? I don't know. Mr. T evidently has been... Um, like, there's these new GPS navigation things you can get yeah. on your dash, and uh, Mr. T will tell you... Uh, make a left turn up at the corner. <laughs> I said, make a left turn. <laughs> this guy, what a hack. You listen to this. Hey, this is Mr. T. Pay attention to what I'm saying. You heard me. This is Mr. T. <laughs> <laughs> See? That's going to make you pull in. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't really, uh, okay. Attention to what I'm saying. You heard me. This is Mr. T. Not one of them other two-bit actors that could be doing a lot of stuff or whatnot. They <laughs> might sign. I've seen this. Does it have a list of icons on the sign? Like there's crack houses and you just kind of press it. It tells you where the nearest one is. What? Yeah. What are you talking about? I've seen this. There's actually icons on it. Is it a video game? No, it's an actual product for a but GPS. I what? I don't think it's the Mr. T GPS that shows you where the crack houses are. <laughs> I'm figuring it's are the Mr. Me, T one. Are you t- so there's icons that show you where the crack houses are. Yeah, I believe so, yeah. Where did you hear this? Yeah, it's on Dude, the street. To, no, it's so, not on the street. I go to sure. every tech convention around the world. Listen, this, this is underground. This is not tech. Uh, this is definitely underground. Read, um... We are now being told by Wayne that there is some GPS that will show you crack houses. Have you heard this? No. What? He said that Mr. Yeah, he... T is uh, on uh, 
Mr. T's on some GPS that uh, he'll tell you where the crack houses are. Where did you hear this, Wayne? Ah, uh, some program. <laughs> <laughs> was Two it, o'clock in the morning. <laughs> was it, yeah, when you were hallucinating and had like eight, 18 blunts in you. Something like that. Uh, okay, so uh, the, the people have arrived. I, I, I have no idea how this is going to gonna go tonight uh, because we've never seen this tape. And we have professionals. Professionals. Pro- real professionals. Uh, we have uh, Joe. Get up on mic there. Hello. Okay, and so you are, um, you are a porn professional. Yeah, well... <laughs> I think everybody in the room is a porn professional at this point. Not these two guys. Oh, really? No. Oh, um, porn aficionados at least. Okay, and so how long are you a director or a producer? I'm a director producer. I have a company called Black Mirror Productions. We've had it for five years in New York. We're the only porn production company in New York City. Were you in that big um, Time Out New York yeah. episode? Correct. Yes. The one that had everybody upset, and there was a, like an image on the front. It was just like a crease in a body, and you really couldn't tell what it yeah, was. exactly. And then all these people wrote in, all yeah. upset, and it was like somebody's elbow or something. Yeah, yes, yeah. They didn't like the crease, because it's too ambiguous. If they could nail it, then it would be like, oh, that's a, that's a knee, but they think, oh, it's something else. Right. Yeah. And how many films have you done? I've done 25 features, and we've won three AVN awards already, and I'm working tonight with two extremely lovely ladies who are here with us, Haley Scott and Mia Bang from L.A., Mia, Mia Bang? Mia Bang. Yeah. Mia, of Mia the Bang. Scarsdale Bangs. It's an old shipping family. Mia, Mia too. Mia Bang. Uh, we love you a long time. <laughs> um, okay, so give me the names again so I can write it down in front of me. You. Go ahead. Mia Bang. Mia Bang. With two N's. Two and two. Haley Scott. And I am Haley Scott. Haley Scott. Haley Scott. And where did you get your name? Because um, it runs... Rhymes with sucking cock. Oh, <laughs> well, hit the dump button. Just kidding. All right, so, uh, uh, okay, don't say anything else. Well, so we've dumped out uh, once already. That's good. Okay, well, we'll start over. Uh, uh, hold on. <laughs> wow. Um, I can, I can no, hang on. <laughs> yes, you can say it rhymes with socks. No, <laughs> don't, it doesn't rhyme with anything, Wayne. So, um, <clears throat> wow. Um, this is going to go well, I think. Uh, we've... Uh, We've dumped out. Uh, the machine says that we're uh, dumped out. We're good. Yeah, yeah. No, that's okay. That's the real answer. Though. Okay, let's let's get down to it. Well, I'll when did, when did you accept uh, Jesus Christ as your savior? <laughs> um, let's see. I think I was five. Five. Yes. Okay. And when do you, when did you get it into the adult film industry? Mm, about a year ago. All right. And what were you doing before that? I was a um, manager of a restaurant. Okay. Mm-hmm. Chili's? No. Outback? No. It was in California. It was a Mediterranean cuisine restaurant. So, now, and, and he flew you, Joe flew you guys out here. Yes, he did. Because you're shooting a film tonight. Yes, we are. Okay. Now, does he fly in first class, or is it JetBlue? <laughs> What's his... <laughs> By gum, it is JetBlue. <laughs> is it JetBlue? The porn well, star's airline. Star, it's a porn JetBlue star airline. That's cool. right. Do you like it? I like JetBlue. Yeah. Maybe they could show some better videos on that little screen there. Now, I, watched, I got to watch Office Space today. Excellent. I was thrilled. They gave me pretzels and cookies. And your... Um, and, and your uh, <laughs> but have you ever actually been flown first class to, to a, a shoot, or is it typically um, JetBlue? We fly ourselves first class. Oh, really? We're going places, but companies, no. What kind of places do you go? Um, just wherever. Uh, Florida. A lot of porn in Florida? There's a lot of porn oh, in Florida. Jeb Bush, sure. <laughs> gotcha. Um, and so what kind of what kind of film are they films are they shooting in Florida? Um, it's a lot of internet stuff actually. Yeah. This film more it's a lot of internet. Now I know in, in Costa Rica they're doing a lot of uh, stuff down there too with the gambling and the. Yeah, we're headed down next week to do uh, to do sixty movies. In, sixty. Now in, you've done twenty five. I've done twenty five here, and I'm part of a bunch of directors that are going down next week to do sixty movies in fifteen days. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Well, I hope somebody doc, you know does like a documentary. Yeah, like yeah, uh, uh, yeah it'll be interesting. Uh, there's a bunch of us, and each one is doing a movie a day, and he's going to come back with all this content and start a new company. So. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And is it mostly going to be for like DVD release or yep, DVD release and website? It's 80, 80 Costa Rican girls and twenty LA guys. Now I've been to when I was in Costa Rica. Um, evidently, there are some prostitutes at the uh, downtown casinos. Ah, all right. Uh, because I it's the first time I used my famous line when the prostitutes descended upon me. 
And I said, I am mucho gay. <laughs> and uh, they said, no. Wait, that was you? Yes. I said, no, no, uh, no. Es- uh, and they said, no, no. Es- for that, I go, see, sí, mucho, mucho gay. Um, and then I pointed to the ring and said, muchacho. Yeah. And then they left me alone. Ah. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's so, exactly what they expect to see. There was a ring and a $50 bill in your other hand. <laughs> <laughs> now, what do you... What, so all these girls are down there. They already know they're going to be in the films. Yeah, they're they're in. They're tested. They're ready to go. They're tested. Yes. To, uh, yes. There's a staff doctor on board. Really? Yes. And he's just uh, just got like a conveyor belt and just he's, poke, it, poke, 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 poke with the syringe. His and, name is Maury. He has a cigarette and, and, a, and a big rubber stamp. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Um, so it sounds like uh, th- that these uh, there's these aren't like condom uh, no films. They're not, no, they're not. it's uh, yeah, it's the 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 natural beauty of Adam and Eve they're, kind they're, of vibe. They're barebacking, as they say in horse. I see. Riding. On the West Coast, we get tested. Yes. Yeah. Every three weeks. Now, yes. why is the why are we so skanky here on the East Coast then? Oh, we everywhere tests here. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Oh, I was told you it was just all condom and stuff. Oh no, that's here. a myth. No, the entire East Coast is aim. We're all aim. Really? Oh yeah. Now, let me ask you, Joe. Um, yes. When I was writing for Playboy magazine, I got a lot of the same kind of dumb lines from people. When you're on the plane, like next to a grandma, and she's like showing you pictures of your of her niece, do you ever say like, you know, I could uh, maybe use her in my work? I do. <laughs> and then they ask what work, and then I have to... Are you honest? Are, do you, do you, I, am, I am honest. That's why I get some local people that I say, look, I mean, no disrespect, but you're really good looking, you're a good looking couple, you, you look great. I have an adult film company. It's. Would you like to tr- have a look at what I do? Go to the website, uh, blackmirror.com. Um, or would you like to be an extra, a non XXX extra. And here's and, uh, a question. Yes, this came up it. on the train. Uh, Big Wayne is the gentleman whose uh, tape that, uh, from the 80s we will all be viewing well, tonight. I'm sure you're going to be scarred. <laughs> um, these no, chicks don't man. look too Yes, happy. you're going to be scarred. Um, Big Wayne's a handsome fellow. This is going to be great. Thank right. you. Uh, well, don't, I don't, don't, I don't look like this on the film. Oh. You might not even recognize me. He was so. saying that um, we had gotten invited to your shoot tonight. Um, and that he was like, well, they may need extras. Now, what kind of extras are there? Is it the pizza boy? Well, like I just I did a movie uh, that won this year's uh, Avian Award for best uh, best pro am, and there's 60 people in it. It's called the Love Generation. Right. So my sister's in it. She plays percussion <laughs> in the band. I mean, everybody's in it. Kind of like when Janet Jackson was playing percussion on her behind in yeah. that uh, recent yeah. video. You stick yes. a little mic on and you get that. Sound, right. Yeah. Bongos. Bongos. All right. But, but bongos. Uh, but everybody's in it. The whole Lower East Side is in it. Even, uh, I mean, Reed knew about it. Everybody, yeah. It's everybody's really? in it. Really? Yeah. I've seen it, yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. You yeah, creepy. Such a cocky smirk on your face right now. <laughs> creepy what? I'm an best. adult. I'm a, I'm a consenting age. No, when I used to work at the magazine, I got sent a copy. Okay. When, and the magazine would be Time Out New York. Yes. Okay. Anybody in there you know? No, just no. Joe's sister. But I am. <laughs> so your sister was in that. Yeah. Okay. And are your parents still alive? Uh, my mom's still alive. Uh huh. Yeah. Yes. And how's she doing with all this? She, uh, she knows where it's going. Uh huh. She knows that I can't. Uh, my background is uh, I'm a composer, so I write for orchestras. So 22 years I wrote for my own orchestra, 18 piece orchestra, toured the world, toured Europe, and then I parlayed it into film, but through porn. And so, <laughs> <laughs> obviously, so, right. makes sense. Waving a stick around. Right. In both things. Yeah. <laughs> Great. She knows the next phase is indie film and then law school. So that's, uh, that's where I'm going. Seriously? Yeah, seriously. Yeah. You're going to go to law I'm school? Taking the LSAT in January. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. First See, Amendment, baby. Need it. Yeah. This, this, uh, this regime needs enemies. Uh, yeah? Yeah. That's well, cool. is it as bad as it's ever been? Because I saw this documentary on PBS about how John Ashcroft, like the day before 9-11, was ramping up this huge anti-porn offensive, and then 9-11 came, and he sort of held it off, but they're starting to ramp it up again. Yeah, they're back. They're putting yeah. a, an FBI team together, that's because what that's what's important. It's, it's not right. the guys here that want to kill us. Right. It's, um, you know, the porn. Well, what they said is, the FBI said a lot of those guys are going to have to recuse themselves because they're really, their hearts aren't in it, and they're trying to... They're trying to make it like it's a big deal, but I mean, with all that's, as we say, going on in the world, it's going to be very hard to put that on the front burner as an agenda, especially as, even as a social agenda. It just doesn't really belong there, considering all large corporations or most of them have a porn division now somewhere, either internet or cable. You really can't get rid of it. You just have to see how to make it. The big things are kids, 
rape, all the stuff that you shouldn't be in film. Take that out, and if we're consenting adults, as you said, what's the harm? I mean, it's been with us since cave paintings. Mm-hmm. You know, so we just have to find a way to reconcile our feelings about sex in this country anyway. Right. Uh, Europe is much more sophisticated. They don't really care. You know what I mean? What's Porn is porn is part of what they're... It's, it's porn, it's life, it's music, it's eating. You know, it's, it's all the same. Here we made such a big spiky deal of it that we have to come to terms with what we are sexually. You know what I mean? Just, I'm kind of rambling about it but I, let's go, go back to the cave paintings yeah, yeah, I, I want yeah. to talk about like you know hot cave paintings of yeah. uh, like a guy in a buffalo yeah um, well that would be, be considered animal porn now no we can't do that right. um, right. then uh, is there actually cave paintings that have uh, like a little sexual overtone to it I think there are there's some yeah. hermaphroditic cave paintings wow. some crossover <laughs> stuff well I guess you know when you think that the sun and the moon are going to kill you, then there's right, all sorts of crazy right. pi- pictures that you start drawing. Big noise and sky. Um, I yeah. was shocked when I was in uh, Germany. What a, they love the uh. sex. And I, on the front page of the paper, you're standing in like a little convenience store and there's kids walking by. Yeah. On the front page of the paper is a topless woman. Nobody's paying any attention to it. Well, they have a healthy attitude. Here we can see a woman, her throat cut on TV, raped, strangled, eyes gouged out in dramas, but yeah. you, can't, you can't see a female breast. Right. Boom. You know I mean, it's just how we react. Been, that's why we burned 16-year-old girls as witches in the right. Jordan days. Which was, we got to bring that back. Well, that's the next wave in porn, I think. <laughs> oh, really? No. I don't so, Salem, God, God uh, forbid. I'm no. scared. Um, <laughs> really, really. Kind of weird. The cr- Puritan porn. The, like, the, the really Puritan uh, Blair yeah. Witch Project. Mm-hmm. Um, well, we got to take a break, and uh, then I guess we'll we'll come back and, and maybe watch some of this tape, Wayne. Whenever you're ready. <laughs> are, are you girls going to be okay with this? Who's whose tape is this? Oh, this, this, this is my tape. This is your tape. This is my Wayne? tape. Yes, oh. from about uh, twenty four years ago, twenty five years ago. And you just recently found this. Oh no! <laughs> you had it. Sure, <laughs> but I just wanted to describe to you. It's it's not actually. He's describing it as a porn. Oh, it's, it's someone porn. that was willing to have sex home with video? me. It's a home and video. Yes. Right. Right. Okay. Yeah, all right. You see? Porn. Hey, yes. Do you guys have any home videos? Yeah. Of oh yes. Yeah. I've got some on my phone. I, I could show you later. Really? Let's pass it around during the break. Wow. Uh, we'll be back after this. Livonia, Michigan. This car just came... That was the wrong button. That was the wrong button, Reed. You're going to help me out here. What, what? Stall. Start talking about your mom. <sighs> Haven't we dished enough of my family secrets on this show? Doesn't she what? live on the Lower East Side? No, come on. <laughs> Built from cheap labor from Zambia, El Salvador, and Paraguay. <laughs> this is the one and only... <laughs> Who is he? He's <laughs> You understand? <laughs> All right, Laszlo Show, uh, episode 19. What, what are we going to call this? The Wayne Porn Video? The Last Show. The Last Show. <laughs> the Last Supper. <laughs> so... Um, Joe, you were saying that maybe he should release this tape like who? Tom Sizemore. You should put this out as a box set, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This co- if we wrap this with the Tom one, I think you'd... Pff, you know, you'd yeah, never have you've got to gotta watch this really? first, watch okay? First? okay. <laughs> I just want you to remember, this was shot with a camera that was like a cannon. This thing oh. was huge. Oh, man. I can't wait. So, And I kind of had it set up a little like... Uh, I had an entertainment center. Yeah. At the time, I rode a motorcycle. Yeah. And I had the camera and the helmet over the camera. And all I had to do was pick up the visor. And no matter who came in, was going to get recorded. Oh, man. No matter who came in. But this was nope. all done on consent. None of this was ever done. What you'll see? She's mm-hmm. looking at the TV. She's looking at the. She's looking she's, at the camera. She's looking at the helmet. All right. I'm thinking it's a helmet. Is she buffing the helmet? Or <laughs> right. Why right. would you? There's there's all type of helmet action. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you, you put it in your um, you put it in the motorcycle like helmet in the helmet. Kind of like yeah. When you came in, the way you hit the you know the little button to turn on the lights, yeah. it actually controlled the outlet. Oh. So it controlled the VCR okay. and everything. So it was automatically on and just ran. So she <laughs> knew that there was a camera in Constantly, the helmet. Constantly, yes, yes. But the reason for the helmet was yes, yes, for yes. looks? Just in case you brought home a stranger that you wanted to record without oh, consent, which right. I'm pretty sure of user in the industry. Gotcha. You might have fell to that dirty trick one time. Nowadays with all these nanny <laughs> cams and everything, no? Oh, I've put cameras up for other people in my house, but I don't why? think I've ever. Why were you putting? Why were you putting cameras up? 
just you know, I thought it would be fun to video spy on people. Some, well, no, not me like and mom- somebody. Oh, see, me and somebody. Oh, okay, now so and uh, Mia Bang is your name with two N's. No, with two G's. Two G's. Oh, two G's. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, that was close. Do, do you though. have that, Do you have that trademarked or? Um, I do. Do you? Mm-hmm. If I go to uh, the United States uh, Patent and Trademark Office and put in Mia Bang. You will find it. With two G's? With so two I should G's. put it. So I just wrote this down. I should put a TM How? or an R with a circle around it. <laughs> I, th- I believe an R with a circle. Okay. All right. And how long does it take before you come up with a name? Um, You kind of just come up with it on the spot. Okay. I think usually people do. It's not something you had since childhood. No. no, I don't okay. think it was like on the <laughs> playground. Like uh, I Mia- think my poor name <laughs> in ten years will be. Well, you know, like the whole thing used to be, you know, you take your pet's first name and your mother's maiden name. It was. And I, that think was it, I think it was um, your pet's first name and the street you grew up on. Mine would I have been Madison Madison. What I heard. I heard I that somewhere. That. Madison Madison. Yeah. Were you name your pet after the street you lived on? I came from a very cool street. It was very <laughs> very tough if you said this name in other parts of the borough of Queens, yes. Madison Queens? Madison Park, yes. That was a that was a tough borough. That was a tough park. Well, evidently, you know, you could steal uh cereal from train cars there, <laughs> so how could it not be? Yes. Wayne, who's the girl we're gonna see? Uh, she was a girl I dated for a couple of years, yeah, three yeah. or four years, you know. Lived in a car. She, when I first met her, she was homeless. <laughs> <laughs> she did live in a car, yes. You pick the winners, don't you? Rare. And it was love. <laughs> he was in love. It had to have been. Yes. In fact, he's got... If you listen to one of our openings, you'll hear that I got my heart broken, and the comedian said, how late am I broke? What'd she do? Pull away. <laughs> <laughs> um, but she eventually got out of the car. Eventually got into, right. a, into a house, yes. Um, and so... Haley, how many uh, films have you been in? I've been in several films. I don't even know. (laughs) You you lost count? I did. I work pretty much every day. Wow. Yeah. That's uh, ambition. Is is there a goal, (laughs) like certain age, retirement, big bank account? Um, Yeah, I want to retire in six months, and I'd like to own a couple of houses. And are you on track to do that? I am. And what kind of mutual funds are you into? Mutual funds such as, like, um, do I invest? Yeah, what kind like of investments? I, I I really don't. I just throw it in the bank or throw it in the closet. You, you, <laughs> throw the cash in the closet. Throw wow, the money so in the there's bank. just suitcases of cash. This is only broadcasted in New York, okay? I live in a different state. No, so. that's not true. No, this is. Laszlo posted on the internet. Oh, yeah, it's on the internet. Say, you know, but you'd have to, you know, actually go to his site to listen to it. Right. Okay. So. So you got suitcases. Are you afraid there's going to be another dust bowl or? <laughs> A what? <laughs> um, back in the 30s when Wayne did this film. It was a dust. It was a talkie. It was a, it was a talkie. It's, um, never mind. Um, so you have no idea how many films you've been in. Mia? Uh, you? No, over 100. Wow. Yeah, I'm right along those same lines, over 100. Okay. So. Suitcases full of cash? Um, no, you know, I actually own three houses. Are you serious? So, oh, wow. Do they, do they say I Frigidaire right on the outside of them and they're under the Brooklyn Bridge? Or Wayne used to smoke crack there. <laughs> I swear to God, don't look at me like that. Well, no. Any beachfront property make, anywhere? Uh, quite a bit of money. So, um, so there's, there's actually money to be made. Most definitely. Most definitely. And you can invest it and have good things later on in life, like really? I'm trying to do. Well, excellent. So, well, that's good. Now, in your so, but in your parents, are they Christians? Um, my parents are actually Mormon. Really? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> wow. Quite a shocker. You still go? To, I was you at still, one point too. You still go to Christmas? <laughs> um, we have Christmas. Um, I don't go to church anymore. He said, "Do you still go to Christmas?" But um, <laughs> I'm still a good person. Right, but he's good. Um, I mean, Christmas mass. You good? Or is that? No, that's you guys have Catholic, Catholic, maybe. Catholic. Oh, whatever. Yeah. It's all the same thing. Isn't it? So, no. no? Well, mm-hmm. to a certain extent. Okay. Yeah. Are, do you ever dress as a nun in any of the films? I don't think that's allowed anymore. I are think you there serious? Was some big controversy over. Joe, you're nuns the. You do this professionally as well. Is there? You can't dress up as a nun. Um, the, it's getting as as they say, it's getting heavy out there. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's a downer. It, bu- Ungroovy. It's a, it's a bummer, man. It's Real a bummer. bummer. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's uncool. <laughs> it's very uncool. <laughs> but, yeah, but uh, you know, how do you get a how do you get a how do you get a uh, a nun pregnant? Just uh, like an altar boy. I mean, you know, it's, it's <laughs> all makes uh, sense. So, oh, no, wow. 
So, so, th- so they've uh, they've said that all all the religious overtones, like Madonna's uh, "Like a Prayer" video, it's, done. It's it's getting watered down. Really? Right there, yeah. You ever done a porno with a, they have a pillow fight? Because no, I've heard that I heard that's brand new. It's yeah, cl- cutting edge stuff. I'm waiting. To see, because when I was watching the opening of Facts of Life, and I had a very big crush on Joe, and they had the little pillow fight uh, or the paint fight thing, and I was waiting for porn action. It never happened. Damn. Wait, was Joe the one that rode the motorcycle? Yes, had, she was a little butchy. Had big shoulders. Yes. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Okay. I was into her. So uh, we got to take a quick break. You know what happened was nobody was listening to the show when we first went on, and then. Uh, our ratings, uh, we doubled the listenership, and then now we've got all these uh, commercials. What is that noise? Birdies. I don't know. Is it, uh, oh, it's me. Oh, is it? <laughs> it's first birth of spring. Sorry. <laughs> now, do you have guys? Do you, do you have? Do you have guys setting up for this? Uh, yes. This shoot right yes, now. We have a crack team. A crack team. <laughs> wow. And how many people? Uh, there's about 45 lighting guys, several riggers, um, about 16 sound guys. No, there's not. No, there's not at all. There's nobody there. It's one guy. Okay. This one guy. He's setting up one light bulb thing. And um, what's the lighting like in your film? Pretty poor. This is the is this it, is called I, we're gonna call I, this I, porn I idol. I think like when you get into like the third segment, there's some better lighting. There's some better lighting, yeah, but we have a porn a little, idol uh score sheets. Paris Excellent. Hilton. So I want you you guys are when we come back from break, you guys are gonna be rating on uh, technique. Stamina, uh, use of hands. <laughs> and don't hold back. Lighting. Yeah, okay, I know have, this is have. embarrassing. Well, I don't think uh I think Haley will hold back. She's already made me hit the dump button once. It um, was an accident. I know. It happens to us all. Um, especially Wayne when he's on eight Red Bulls. Um, <laughs> uh, clothing and storyline. There's no clothing. Oh, yes. There is some clothing. There yes. is some yeah. clothing. So You're I will be... Curating clothing. <laughs> I will be um, handing out these score sheets. And when we come back, we will be uh, watching Wayne's tape. And then uh, this will... I would say after we watch it... There might we'll, be some therapy. We'll just start playing music and then we'll be done. <laughs> Right. Episode uh, 19 in the Laszlo Show. Wayne's uh, big day is here. Sort of like you're graduating from high school. Did you graduate if from If any life? family members are listening, that's it. If any family members are listening, this is not Wayne. <laughs> 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 All right. So, Reed, you're going to be manning the VCR. Yes. Okay. And um, we've... The tape now you you the the original tape was three hours yeah right. and you yeah three and a half hours you've edited this down everybody's got their porn idol score sheets got yes, we now do. you see there's both there's two columns here big Wayne and homeless girl uh, and you the ratings are one to ten one being the worst and ten being the best um, so technique lighting clothing. I gotta tell you, dude, I'm a little nervous about seeing this because our our friend T said Hold that on. after he saw this, he couldn't eat breakfast yeah. the next day. But don't, he's last night we're out with a bunch of friends. You know what his question is to the one guy that has seen this videotape? <laughs> Am I gonna see Wayne's junk? <laughs> no, <laughs> come on. I mean, would you would you even want to see your friend's junk? You mean your you package? Yes. Oh, yes. No, I don't. Because when we're at the beach, he like um, hikes his uh, swimsuit up, and so I can. Uh, I don't really don't care. You know, if you d- see it, you see it. So what? He's proud. Uh-huh. Uh, Maybe yes, proud. I'm proud for what I have. Proud. Right. 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 But, okay. What I'm given is what I'm proud of. <laughs> okay. So, in, is there... Now, Joe, are you ready? Do you? I'm, ha- I'm very ready. Oh, look, he put his glasses on. Yes, I have them on. Have He's my, very professional, very I guess. Professional. I have my Sharpie pen. Um, okay. So, uh, in the room, we have Reed, the useless producer, who his job tonight is he's going to be pushing play and pause. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you. We have Joe Gallant. Is that, am I pronouncing that correct? Yes. Um, who is a... Uh, Porn oh. producer, can I say that, or did yeah. I say adult? Uh, producer, director in New York uh, City, uh, Black Mirror Productions. Uh, At blackmirror.com. Manhattan's Porn Company. And then we have two... Starlets. Starlets, Mia Bang. <laughs> with two Gs. And Haley Scott. Scott. Okay. And it doesn't rhyme with something. Okay. And <laughs> no, He's he, good. Yes, he is good. Dude, he, he knows how... He's going to go get a law degree. He's a very brilliant guy. Um, he's going to Costa Rica. Yes. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. I, get, I have to get, get your uh, finger on the dump button. Yeah, and I'm gonna, <laughs> I was thinking about getting some intermission music too. Or, <laughs> what do you think? Uh, I think we can hold it. Huh? You gotta, you're gonna be laughing. Oh, no, when we? Huh? huh? No, when I have to go throw up, I want to be able to throw, put a song on. I can rate some of these things already. What? Can you rate what? What? Which one? I got incredible stamina. Stamina. That <laughs> I know. <laughs> you can't even pronounce it. <laughs> um. All right. 
Here we go. There's the and then, and then from the movie till today, it's like to the tenth power. Okay. <laughs> so when we when we hear this this music, uh, this means that we've uh, sort of dumped out. We you know gone to intermission. This is your dump music. Right. That's hot. Okay. <laughs> is that good porn music, girls? You That's like that? Beautiful. Hot. Yeah, it's, it's hot. music yeah. for TV. Now, like how, it. can I? You don't mind? Okay, can you give me an approximate age that each of you want to use? Are? I am twenty-three years old. Twenty-three. And I'm twenty. Okay. So, okay. But you've, familiar, you've, of course, over the years, you watched a lot of porn. <laughs> Actually, no, no, not really. I watch. So you wouldn't be make it. So like you know, like guys in, in, that make jokes. There's certain like type of music and certain looks that I associate to like porn stars. Would you be able uh, like to? The, the yes, yeah, she's good. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know? I'm pretty sure they don't use that music no more today. It's got to no, be a little I more know hip than that. About, though, you know? But uh, just let me know who I look like. No, I watched Paris's video. Yeah, that, that thing stunk. It, it was, was like a, a Iraqi night vision porn. Horrible. Okay, so I'm, awful. Uh, if that was horrible, I want you to see what I get. <laughs> <laughs> We're ready for it. We're okay. All right. Let's Make, shoot, see it. Shoot the curl, Reed. Okay, so here we go. Uh, we're hitting play. Uh, oh. Don't tell me. All right. <laughs> uh, uh, I have nothing to do with the tracking. The tracking's all off. What happened? And that's not on the tape. That's on the VCR. Are you sure? I'm positive. Wow. I think you sabotaged Hold on. Hold video. on, Reed. Let it go. Let it go. Okay. <laughs> no, I didn't. Dude, say, it's, this looks like they, it was... They, no. <laughs> I'm telling you, you got a tracking problem. It has nothing to do with... <laughs> but those were my credits. It that it was is. my credits. It and the one thing I didn't know how to do, you said a little R at the bottom? Uh-huh. They gave me like a choice of a color of like, like you make the credits, like green and blue. I never knew how to get rid of the R because I chose red. Credits in his home video. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> what, why? I'm, uh, you know, have this screen jump around. I have really no help. idea. What? Uh, what's going what on? That? It's, it's a bed. Oh. oh. <laughs> she comes out. She's, it's a girl laying on a couch and she's yes. under a sheet and she looks like. Now, did you notice what the title was? I know. Blank, couldn't... blanks, front porch. <laughs> So this, if you watch this scene right here, I wasn't in the room, but when I came back and watched the tape, I was mesmerized that she was concerned how they looked on film. So, so that's why I, let I me kept get this, this part. Okay, so let me get this straight. You're not even in this... No, I'm in the bathroom. Okay, so <laughs> not even around right now. You're, so, and, but I, I, I thought it was great that she was very concerned with how they look. That's funny. So she's sort of, she's sort of like, uh, she's, thank you. She's looking at her body and she's making sure that's it. She doesn't. No, she's trying to get her. Oh, look at that hairstyle. It looks like something out of AHA video. I don't know if I can say what she's doing, but I know what she's doing. She's, she's like an examination almost. She's doing it. She's, 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 um, arousing? Prepping. She's prepping. All right. Okay. So she's she's trying to make them look better. 22 years later. (laughs) Thank you very much. (laughs) So I just thought she was prepping them for me and the tape. She has got big hair, dude. Big hair was 80s. She has got big hair in this. She's making her boobs look hot. Thank you. Her love. So do you give her her any numbers yet? Okay. So yeah. Okay. Now hold on. Now there's an edit right now because it's going to happen right here. She's going back to sleep. Wait. She's going back to sleep. No. It was. Just pause this real quick. You can't pause this real quick. Pause it. You can't. Can't pause it. Okay, no. now, go ahead. She was she set up on this couch. This looks like one of those. My, it was actually I had my bedroom like said it was like a living room. If you understand, what I'm saying everything had to occur in the bedroom. I still live okay. with my parents. But this be- and the bed was made like a day bed. In the daytime it was like yeah. a couch. You kind of lay on it and smoke and get high. And, <laughs> you know, this sort of looks like one of those. You would like fold the bed out and you would have that bar in your back. No, it was a full bed. It just had those cushions up against to make it look like a day bed. Okay, yeah. Now, and so she gets up, she preps herself a little bit, and then she lays down and covers herself back up like she's she's waiting on you or something. I would assume, that's what I assumed, that I was being So you up. came in, you flipped the light, and it No, start- there's no flit in the light. That was already rolling. She knew it was, dude, she was, when that was being filmed, uh-huh. the TV was on right in front of us. She could right. visually see herself now, after you, on the TV. Now, after you guys uh, went at it here, did uh, you you kick her out and tell her to go no. sleep in the back of the Chevy? Never. Or did she, she actually, <laughs> no. she actually stay over? I told over. you I was in love, dude. Okay, so she got to stay over the night. For many a nights. For years. Aww. And then she and then she broke up. Here's the thing. If, if you've listened to this show before, we found out uh, that she broke Wayne's heart. And yes. then he went and started smoking crack under the Brooklyn Bridge. And well, then he somehow ended up in a cameo video. <laughs> and um, it was a whole... And then now he's on this show. Oh, and there was, But I'm clean today. Just a lot of weed. That's good. <laughs> that's good. I, had See? A, I had a nine-month period where suicide was... See, you that's know. bad. Okay, you were bringing me down. Let's get that's back bad. to hit well, play. Yeah, yeah, ask questions. I was in love. Okay. Get back. Ooh. 
Okay. She said, ooh, see? I'm oh. Gonna, I'm going to give you a 10 for the socks. See? Oh. Thank you. So all you're wearing is socks. <laughs> yes. And um, she's got See, she knew song. she was looking at the video camera at the right camera. then. Now, and the socks are all dirty on the bottom, That's Wayne. That's why I like them. Is yeah. that why you like them? That's that a little hot? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that, whoa, is that you? That's Good. me. Whoa. You're pretty, There's a... pretty good <laughs> in that area. You yeah. know what I mean. Uh, <laughs> I got to tell you, I tell everybody I'm Holy tiny. Holy so it's boy. been a lie all this time. I am tiny. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't care what they say. Yeah. I've been in men's locker rooms. That's trust tiny. me. I was embarrassed. That, that's a baby's arm. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny you say that because I got a fetish for baby arms. <laughs> <laughs> now, not baby arms. We should. Uh, we'll fill them in a little. Well, while. Yeah, yeah, it's. Yeah. Uh, he likes girls that have birth defects. Oh. Yeah. Have you ever done any of those points? I'm still waiting for your reaction like when you actually see what I look like. All right, she's wearing a black thong. Yeah, it was see-through. See-through, yeah, it's yeah. cute. She's got asymmetrical hair. Asymmetrical hair. <laughs> <laughs> right, she looks like she's about to go dance on the... In the uh, some kind of <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Lass has waited ten, at least eight years Dude, for this. This looks like oh. this looks like you and the girl okay, from the now, White Snake video. See, that was my so editing. How was my editing? Oh, I love it. It was pretty it. good yeah. for you just like a pause editing? button? It's very subtle. Yeah. He, by the way, he, he borrowed a VCR from me, and he... Um, and it, dude, you look like you got like. Uh, See, I'm amazing. Look at my hair. You don't even take that what? into consideration. Wayne's got hair in this thing. <laughs> oh. How do we describe this? We can say 68 and a half, right? No. <laughs> you might. Okay. Sure. So I can't that's, that's, see why that that's is. That's what we're looking at right so, now. Um, so, there might actually only be 68 and a half right there. <laughs> um, oh, it's great. This is so romantic. It is romantic. Cool. The best part is when. Cool. I keep oh. looking at the I t- that's the whole part of the whole thing. That so I was very mesmerized. I could watch myself. <laughs> and by the way, he likes to take copies of this show and listen to himself. I, and he sits I, at home and just laughs. Do you ever have you ever actually been in one of your own films? I've been in a few films. Yeah. Okay. I I, I, I dig it. Like like they do. We like to. You know, it's human nature. We want to yes. see what you look like. It's kind of cool. Okay. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know if I want to know what I looked like 20 years ago. That's a little disturbing. Yeah. This whole film is disturbing. What is oh. with that lamp, dude? That's what my wife like always the, questioned. The leg lamp. And yes, the... my wife today is a different woman has it's viewed The lamp it. with the table attached. <laughs> yes, that's her favorite you know? pot. Right, it looks like the entire thing's an ashtray. Remember those ashtrays back then? You could put like 8,000 butts in them and there'd still be room for this, more. This is like a David this Lynch movie. It is like a David Lynch movie. <laughs> 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 it's really, it's really, yes, I'm tattoo-less. This is slow. Hello, Wayne. Uh, is this your move? You're kind of you're I, kind of a slow oh, guy. She's, there was, she's oh, what? she's doing something interesting. Yeah, she yeah. is doing something kind of interesting. Yeah. And you know what? I will. Oh, and you're doing something interesting. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. So, Wayne, how many times do you think you've watched yourself on this not, tape? Not many. No, a dozen. You know. <laughs> If that. You know, when you first did it, of course, you yeah, of used course. it for, you know, yeah, you self-pleasuring it. purposes. Right. Of course. Sure. <laughs> but it's not too, inter- <laughs> Wait, it's not too entertaining. What, what's, what's going on right now? Wayne, your, I know. Your, Wayne, your Ooh. hair. See, they need to learn to open up to the camera. Yeah. Yes. Oh, oh, oh little oh. professional advice from the porn star. I'm put that if you're just tuning comments. in, we're watching Wayne's tape from the 80s that he was uh, I've also had banging a homeless girl. You, do, do you always have to talk on top of me? Yeah. It's amazing, though. Not look, look how ripped he is. Now he's no. fat. I want you to look at her cheek. Yeah, mm. that's called my a jawbreaker. Wife, my thought that was my wife thought that was very uh, <laughs> like. It's oh, that's called a jawbreaker. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's, wow. That's the technical term. That's great. And what does it mean? No. no. It means. Uh, you it, know. it means that she, that she likes candy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna kill you, Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> but Wayne, you're doing something real interesting with your fingers. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, you need to. Uh, yeah. A, you guys. Are yeah, you, you got to start marking on your uh, porn idol score, score sheet. sheet. Oh, shoot, that's right. Stuff here. But um, look what I'm looking at. See now, this is the part that my friend got scarred at at some point. <laughs> what? It's like you're just staring at yourself. <laughs> it's yeah, like, what there, are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> was there a, was there a TV set up in the room? Right, dude. Right at the bottom of her feet. Right at the bottom of her feet was a camera. There, there was is a, a lot of usage of hands. I'm a, I like to use my hands. Uh, okay, so so use of hands, you're going to have to rate rate him there. Mm. Yeah, and right after see. this, you landed a part on Magnum P.I., is that no, right? So. No. Yeah, you, had, uh, yeah, where you do look like shows. Magnum P.I. in this. I, to, do, it looks I like do have you a little and, porno look, don't I? Yeah. yeah. A little Nick Nolte porno look. Do you have, do you have a mustache? 
Oh, uh, this is sweet. He's, uh, <laughs> this is horrific. Oh, my God. Why did we say we were going to watch this? <laughs> oh, this is awful. You're right. I got to say, I'm looking at it. I don't even think wow. it's myself. You yeah. know what? I think that you guys watched a video before you did this. Yeah, oh, sure. Definitely. Cause really? Because like, there's a lot of positions going because, on. Yeah, this isn't like... This is like regular, teasing. This isn't like actual... This isn't like regular people t- sort of... Yeah, he's getting crazy. Yeah, he's like... Were you on any... Doing oh, but, interesting things. Probably a lot of weed. Really you said that you guys stopped. You edited out the parts where you guys stop and, and smoke blunts yes. on the edge yeah. of the bed. Well, she didn't, so uh, she blunt, didn't smoke too much. But are, there, are there many blunt breaks on your sets where people just stop and smoke a blunt? Or are you a drug-free... He's got a movie I'm, I'm drug-free bond. myself, but... Uh, you know, that, <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's one film here that has the term... Bon- he points at us? What was that? <laughs> no, no, because I'm just... No, it's not in general. Have you... Now, have you worked with these girls before? No, no. Tonight's the first time. Really? Yeah. And you said, hey, you're going to come be on the radio and watch uh, yeah. some bald guy with dreadlock beard down to his waist. No, we uh, said a handsome devil. Banging a, a homeless yeah. girl in the 80s. Yes. Yes. Very complimentary, yes. I guess. Yes. We, we were no, never told about the homeless the, part. <laughs> that was a surprise. Yeah, that, that was the surprise. Well, that does kind of <laughs> make it Does she hot. look homeless, though? Does she look homeless? No, she looks hot. No, but you, you, you can't like really her. tell. You know, It's a 20-year-old video. Wait, it's a 20-year-old you know? video. I mean... I'm not really seeing all that stamina you've been raving about. Yeah. Yeah. Seem to be um, kind of stuck in one position right here. <laughs> well, no, what I meant stamina is that I can last a really long time. And as I got oh, older, it's even way. incredibly long. But you guys haven't been like, without Viagra. But doing it. No, it's a lot. It was a lot of sixty-nine. There's, there's something okay, coming. We're dumping. Sorry. All right. So now we've dumped out, and here, oh, I forgot the. Uh, there's the dump out. <laughs> here we go. And uh, so. Um, Tell me a little bit more about uh, when you found Jesus. <laughs> Upon me. Was it? Were you really? Hi, same thing happened to me. My parents founded a church. Oh, your parents founded a church, they and then sure you sure did. And then you and do and your parents know about how much money you're making now in your career. Yes, they do. And and they're like, uh, how do they feel about the whole thing? Um, whatever makes me happy is cool with them. They just do not want to hear about it. Well. That works for me. <laughs> this is why I'm not having children, by the way. Right. Just, I'm, I'm, right. No, it's because they always, everything <laughs> skips a generation. Because you can't have kids. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I had a little radiation problem as a kid. <laughs> he's looking at the camera again. Uh, yeah, oh, he's smiling. A lot oh, look of at cam- him, he keeps looking at the camera. Sure. And, look at that hand action. That hand action. I was multiple fingers, without a yeah, doubt. Yeah, multiple. A lot of saliva. Yeah, <laughs> was yeah. that the front or the oh. back? I can't quite tell. Ooh. Okay. Well, well, I think and, I've seen enough. And this, I think I've seen enough. Is there uh, any more good parts of this? Yeah, you gotta keep letting them roll. Just let okay. them play while, they're, while you're interviewing them. Yeah, okay, uh, dude. You know what? It, it, it it's what like, it, it, dude. It's like a, a a Holocaust video going on in, in the <laughs> background, and I'm like trying to have a Listen, conversation. Listen, you begged for this. No, I did not beg. Yes, you did. We, you know who T said it would be a it would be a great yes, idea for the show, and I think it is. Where is this girl now? Uh, that I don't know. Yeah, she's I don't know. She's listening to this as we're. No, she very well right could now. be. She was a Queens girl. Because I think she's really cute. <laughs> Do you? Yeah. Would I, you use her yeah, in a oh, video? Yeah, of course, I would date her. Would you? Yeah, because she's a really nice 34 C. She looks like she has a great personality. <laughs> she looks very normal. You know what's great is Reese Fast Forward. I love it. Thank you. Because I really well, thought it was going to take mean, a lot of criticism. Oh, no, she's hot. Just watch play. it. Fast Forward, you know. Because you know fine. the best girls in videos are the are the natural ones, the ones that just do it for fun. And okay. I, I mean, that was her whole intent. Present company included. Mm-hmm. You know, just, right. There's enjoyment off of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that, you know, yeah. They don't do the porn speak thing when they're in the middle of an act. You know. Right. Yeah. This is great. This is great. <laughs> you are a liar. <laughs> <laughs> the best thing is the lighting. Do you ever life. smoke? Do you ever smoke cigarettes while while, while you're going at it? She did, I think, but I edited that part out. Oh, that's a good part. Yeah, do you ever have people fetish. smoke she cigarettes? Was a yeah. or a red smoke. Big fetish. Without Big a fetish. doubt. Is it? Yeah. I would. Yeah, I was uh, do, like a, at some website, and I couldn't believe people are really into chicks smoking, smoking cigarettes. Yeah. This also was oh, the first woman. I do a lot of smoking fetish, videos. Yeah. Really? Now, do you mm-hmm. smoke cigarettes? Marble anyway, I do. I smoke Marlboro Lights. Anyways, that's hot. Um, <laughs> shut up. Wow. <laughs> what? I think you don't was... hate on my cigarettes. No, smoking. we're not um, hating. Chicks that smoke are great. Yes. Um, Every one of them. I. But no, they want you to sit smoke. there and smoke like seven cigarettes in a row, and so you don't want to smoke a cigarette for like five days. After sure. That. You're just gonna throw up. 
Wayne, you're still th- there. D- I'm, Wayne, I'm, in the same position. I'm telling you, it's like there's a, there was a lot of uh, there's a that lot of position. Right. Wow, Wayne. You know, you know. I now w- was this over several days, and you edited it together. No, that is, this is one. You're going to get another day. This is uh, one session. Is there like a sunrise, like in a little sound effect of a bird? No, just the, just the editing. I don't mean this with disrespect, but it's like watching snails molt because there's like this kinda, <laughs> it's like they, they lock in and they just kind of stay. But it's cool, you know that's. I was kidding. Happening. I said this is the first woman cool. I was ever with yeah, yeah. that I actually experienced a uh, multiple. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Right. And uh, right, right, right. You know, it was very yeah. pleasing to know that you could do that. She's cool. I like. Her. Yeah. I like the couch too. <laughs> yeah. The, no, the day bed. <laughs> this is horrific, <laughs> Wayne. It just goes on. Are you fast forwarding? Yes, he's fast forwarding the whole time. I told you he has. He has for Imagine ten if he minutes. Wasn't. There is three hours of this. It, well, it's multiple times, and after that, I don't remember how long I let this run for. But it's like after I said he's going to see me. What's the difference if he sees me for well, one I know, minute? But or I know, but three I, hours. I said I wanted the ten minute version. How well, how long? Now you guys are in professional uh, adult films. Mm-hmm. What is the average length of these films? Because I was talking to a guy that works at like a hotel, and he said that you can track how long people actually watch the yeah. adult movies, yeah, that's true. and it's like four or five minutes, and yeah. they're all it's, they turn them off. My films are four hours now. <laughs> four yeah. hours. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're sto- they're full blown stories with like five, six, seven scenes. Scenes are like twenty five minutes each. Are you serious? Yeah. So like, I there's about it. two two hour twenty minutes of sex, and then like an hour and fifteen of story. Of yeah. story. Yeah. Now, what kind of stories? Pizza Man, Cable Man. Uh, last one was about porn star assassins. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> took place during the Republican National Convention. We just did Lizzie Grubb. Really? Okay. Yeah. So you obviously yes. aren't a big fan of the administration. So you had some like, like a porn girl shoot Cheney, or what are you doing? No. Oh, no, no such luck. She, um, she, uh, God, this is going on for days, Wayne. <laughs> I had incredible I stamina. And I really can't quite rate the homeless girl because she's just not. We don't, we quite don't see her much. Right, you, doing you, much. It's just, just let it keep it's going. Kind of just the same, you know. Dude, the phones have gone bananas. I'm sure they have. I also want, you know, I. I was 21 in this right now. You, and, right, you're, and she's you 21. Know, and good, you're right. all about it. But well, you were both 21. Just yes, right. I was. I was 21 at the time. Right. You made me lose my total frame of thought on what I was going to say. It, it looks better fast forward. Yeah, I do like it, it fast it forward. But any, oh, I know what I was getting. I was, I was very slow. into the money finish. So I, I'm pretty sure that happens. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they would know. I definitely. Okay. And so we're dumping out. I again. can't say that. No. I don't even know what that means. Don't you worry, your pretty little head. We'll t- I'll tell you in the right. We're in the down. All right, hold. We have an edit. Oh, 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 oh there's an edit. Oh, we can see her face. Oh, oh she's gorgeous. She, she is. She's cute. All right, she's cute. She's cute. She is hot. The hair. Uh, you know what though. I really like is there's the impr- there's, the, there's all right. Gotcha. Oh man. There's the impression of a, a belt her. buckle in her face. I was from like, where she slept. I was like oh, one she year old. That's that's, that's cool. funny. I don't picking that up. You throw what you pick it up. Wardrobe. Look at the wardrobe. Yeah. Right. Wow. So now she's come. Oh, uh, she's standing oh, there. She's <laughs> smoking a cigarette and she's wearing. She has the big red. She's wearing some big red. Uh, <laughs> she is so my type. Thing that she looks like she bought at a truck stop. <laughs> <laughs> it's got lots of ruffle. Lots of ruffles. <laughs> oh, see, this is where I had a problem with like the focus. Yeah, like, I can see. This, I was actually this is handheld now. Of course, as you could tell. Damn. Right. I love her, man. So I truly do. do. Do you? Yeah, I'm not kidding. She's great. See, now this would be a great oh, idea. God. This, this would be a great idea for your next film. Here's a storyline. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but see, instead of having like weed or crack, which was popular <laughs> back in the day. Yeah. What? What am I missing? I oh, just my. like the look that she just gave us. She looks at us. She's like, ah, uh, what's going on here? <laughs> she's got a great body, man. A great. Well, she's body. not really worked. Much she's there. not working much. Well, he's kind of just chilling. He's and, and lying down, and she's doing. Do she actually some wiggling. You know, at some point, if I remember yeah, correctly, she stares right at the, t- at the TV. She is cool. Yeah. Now, so and did you buy this crazy Teddy Ruxpin looking thing she's wearing? Know. No, that was something <laughs> she showed Dude, up with. Uh huh. Don't talk about uh, Teddy Ruxpin like that. I love a Teddy Ruxpin. I love Teddy Ruxpin did you, too. Do, do you? Yeah, but don't. Did you change the tape out so he talked outfit? dirty to you? No, <laughs> I didn't. Um, this is great. 
<laughs> I'm, glad, I'm, I'm, glad, I'm, I'm glad he found it amusing. Well, you know what's great? It was fast forward. It's just yeah, incredible. It's, great. it's very it's long. It's much better when it's in fast oh, forward. Oh, wait, Wayne. Now, hold on. Oh, look at Wayne's hair. Yeah, see, I told if you. you. The, if you go to the website, uh, LAZLOW.com, you can yeah, see pictures right. of Wayne now. He's completely bald, <laughs> uh, and he's got a dreadlock beard down to his waist. In yeah. this picture, he looks like a cross between Magnum P.I. and Ron Jeremy. I don't Jeremy. even look at it and see. I told you it was Ron Jeremy, but I don't even see uh, myself in there. She's great. <sighs> Girls, what do you think? Clothing? What? One to ten. We were going to give clothing. Man, I mean, I like the clothes. You're I did crazy. kind of sexy. No, they're not. <laughs> She's enjoying it, Wayne. Uh, yeah. Now, <laughs> why didn't she? Clothes are horrible. I'm just horrified by this whole thing. Why didn't she ask for the tape, like when you guys broke up? Because I would think. When That's you- it, Reed. 27 minutes, I told oh, you. Oh. Yeah. Bravo. Bravo. These super and I like the, 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 the big excellent. finish there. Excellent. I'm going to give her clothing, clothing a six just for my own amusement. Okay. Oh, yeah? cracked me up. I'm going to give her an eight. How about Wayne's clothing? The socks. Now, she already did. Got a, and I gotta got to say, a, got I'm a, a winner. 10, man. <laughs> How, uh, really? You're telling me that wearing like stru- uh, socks with stripes on it that are dirty on the bottom is hot? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Stamina. We have technique, stamina, use of hands, lighting, clothing, use and storage. Use of hands. Life. I didn't even know that was a category. I just made that up. <laughs> I did. I never saw the tape, and I figured I just used use of hands. I'm not really scarred, though. Are you, Laszlo? I'm. I'm. Uh, it I'm, was I'm, actually kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> Done I'm that not way. Scarred at all? No. Lighting. She but Wayne, what did you think was going to scar us in there? I just think hands. the fact that you see, you know, another person perform an act that you never ever get to see them perform. Mm. Am I right? Yeah, but you know what helped me, Laszlo, is probably that it doesn't look like him at all. He has a big head of hair. He has yeah, a mustache, that's the other so thing. It's, easy it's, to, it's, I, it's 80s Wayne. And it's so grainy, but... Uh, it's 80s Wayne. Not yeah, bad. Yeah, you know, it's great. It's really good. Yep, the spy camera before the spy camera. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So what, what do you think, Joe? Like, is this a professional quality? Could you release this and make some cash? Yep, what do you think? The spy camera before... Ooh. Well, yeah, he could release it because it's got a. These days, um, I think the look is moving away from the LA look. It's going to go like grainy and kind now, of. Dark. Now, what is the LA look? Uh, is a, it is it being like an annoying Hollywood person, like that, fake uh, boobs it's, and all it's, slick? Right. Well, it's more gliding, no, no shadows, a no. um, lot of lot of uh, oh my whatever is so wet, you know, kind of oh faces and that oh kind yeah, of, uh, and like uh, roll well, the people, eyes. Well, like, people in LA are fake. And so when you shoot New York films, yeah. you try to get sort of real. Yeah, like maybe people. Sweatier. Yeah, yeah, like they come in, they're like, uh, yeah. "Oh, my Metro card's broken. Oh, let's bang." Yeah, something like that. You okay? Yeah, yeah. You saw our second movie. I like that. <laughs> was, yeah. it, was it called Met- Metro uh, yeah. Metro Card Sluts? Yes, yes. <laughs> Rare. But uh, no, I think it could sell because it's got a real a real feel to it. And there's where, do, where do I sign the contract? <laughs> uh, I wish we could get her release for it because we put it out. I would put it out because you know why? Because she's so smiling. Her face is so smiling. Have you ever heard she of was a into known, it. known porn star from the East Coast? Really? Oh, oh there so, aren't any. so I've offended you. we got a war going on. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just like, fake. Do you guys ever like... Most get it? these... A lot of the girls enjoy what they do. Oh, oh I'm not dissing you know? that at all. I'm, you know what? I'm not making a comment about really the porn industry. I'm just saying the whole Hollywood... It's a look. It's I, a love, Hollywood I love thing. it. She's attacking you and you are on the backpedaling defense. I am, uh, no, 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 no. no. No, no, no. Don't I know what he's saying. Say that, Don't that swift boat me. Not, it's not that, that people are fake. A lot of them are hella fake. I, oh, yeah. I, you could tell by watching the movies. Right. But then you watch some movies and you can tell that the people are totally into it. Yeah. There's just a lot of L.A. You know? sort of like. It's, it's the talent. Sort of a, it's, it's, like a, it's the person you're watching. It's an it's approach. Some people love what approach. they do. Right. Some people love the money. And. See, I, when Reed said that we we're having a couple of porn stars on the show tonight, I was very concerned. You know, because it's kind of very played uh, before. But, uh, like, you guys don't... I was expecting, like, chicks with fake action and the whole thing. And That's not... Um, you look like you're in my yearbook. They're the new breed. Are they the new breed? I um, think so. Well, fake, fake boobs really aren't um, a big seller. Really? People don't like to hire yeah, girls it's going with, away. with Is fake boobs. Is it really boobs? going away? Yeah, yeah. So what do the girls with fake boobs do now? Uh, Cry? Uh, uh, Get them uh, taken out. I mean, I mean, they still private, private they work. still work. Private work. 
private work <laughs> like a detective. Mm, let me but, see if I can find somebody that will bang me for money. But natural is 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 where it's at. A is lot it? Of, That's there's the a lot of thing. agencies that won't even accept girls that have fake boobs. Wow. And how about yoga porn? Anybody into that? Never. No. Even heard I just, of it. <laughs> you ever done like a porn in like a a juice shop or something? It, no, 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 like I, juice, um, you know, like a ve- juicing kind of vegan porn. Vegan porn. Yeah, yeah. I did no. a porn in a um a fast food restaurant. Really? Mm-hmm. What was it called? Can, can I you say? say? Uh, uh hmm. no. Why don't you write it down and then you can tell me if you can say it. Let's do that. We, we shot in a lot of bars here. Uh, really? Yeah. Like what bars? Uh, one that just closed on uh <laughs> on Avenue A. Sure. Yeah. Really? And, and one okay. that closed they on Bowery. They said I could say it. I did a porn in Del Taco. In it's a fast food restaurant out in California. Oh, yeah? Uh, is that right? Yes, yeah. yes. Oh, you guys don't have them here? No. Oh, no, okay. All we right, don't. then I can say that. No, that's an L.A. thing. Oh, so you were con- they, you were concerned that the people that own Del Taco? is that the, what? It's a huge chain. I don't know. But was it underground? Did the people who own the store know? No, they did not know. So would you, I like that. Oh, and so did you put on a little uniform and sell tacos? Nope. Um... I don't know how to say it without saying. Well, things was the store wrong. closed? Was the store closed? No, the store was not closed at all. Was it in the restroom? It was not in the restroom. It was in the hall. Did you going to the restroom? Okay. Uh, so people, did you end up like, in the fry cooker? No. Okay. Did you get free tacos? <laughs> did you get free tacos? I did. It was. It was. It was two for Tuesday. We actually went. <laughs> two for Tuesday. <laughs> we have, have that on rock stage. All right, everybody. So two for Tuesday. We got some two porn stars. No, no, everybody. No. You get two, two tacos on Tuesday for ninety nine cents. So right. uh, sure. So hell yeah, we got so some tacos. Incredible. What's the nice. worst dialogue that you've ever had to speak? Hmm. I mean, is I'm stumped. It, it's kind of. I yeah. mean, is it, it's kind of played a lot of the dialogue. In there's, it. there's a script, right? You have a script, or are you able to add? I mostly do Gonzo. Gonzo, so you're banging Hunter S. Thompson. (laughs) What's that? Um, Okay, Gonzo is a term for porn that is like passionate. The pool, the couch, the stairwell. Oh, unscripted. Not features. Not Mm. not features. Straight to the point. Straight Straight to to the the point. point. Okay. I've done a few features. I did a feature for Wicked. Um, It's called The Art of Love with Carrie Sable. Mm-hmm. And I just did a feature for Axel Braun, who wins lots of awards. This one will win. Do you know who many? his father is? A- Axel Braun? Yeah. Axel Rose? Uh, his father is Lassie Braun. And Lassie Braun in- invented porn in Europe. Mm-hmm. Really? Yes. And he's like Axel 75, and he has a very, very. So is everybody ripping him off now? Uh, well, who? he's, he's Helen Fred? The, he's the big granddad. He has a long white. I saw him in Milan last year. I was right. at a festival. But is, he, but is he saying that everybody's ripping oh, him no, off? Oh, no, no. He's just He still shoots. He's so happy, man. He he's, lives in Berlin with a very young girlfriend. Tell him, Fred. He's like 75 years old, and he's doing great. Long white ponytail. Very he's cool. Very, nice. very, very cool. Yeah. Their whole family's cool. Hey, Joe, I read this thing this week that there's something called a porn star handshake where people in the porn industry don't want to shake hands, so they just knock elbows because they don't know where their hands have been. True? Oh, false? That's I, the stupidest thing I've ever heard. That's what I read in a, in a newspaper. <laughs> really? Yeah. Not true? I don't think so. Yeah, here you have Why a secret handshake. Why would we not handshake shake you- hands when we do... All sorts of crazy All things. All sorts of crazy things. Most Don't kill the messenger. The way they greet, they just they lick each other's ears. <laughs> that's the new. That's the yeah. whole new thing. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Right where on. Where did you read that there was a secret between you and Wayne? What? Is, what? Where do you get your information? Underground. Yeah. Oh, this, yeah it, this oh, is this underground. Knowledge they got. This is okay. Yeah. No, I don't know. I don't know where I read that, but I thought, oh, that's odd and probably not true. And it's uh-huh. not, chewing to tobacco. Yeah. Uh huh. I, I hear it's that journalism, you're, Laszlo. I hear that you're all, all into Scientology. I'm going to start doing that though. Okay. Chewing tobacco porn. I'm going to be like, I can't shake your hand. I don't know where it's been. Maybe you could do some uh, some Scientology porn and scream, ah, my thetans. <laughs> I'm clear. I'm clear. Instead of what? Oh, with the, uh, I don't know much who, about who Scientology. Who tally, tallies up the results? I know about Reed, the whole you, alien okay. thing. You got turned on by the outfit, huh? Okay, so let's, let's go around the room. Everybody watched uh, Wayne's film of him banging the homeless girl in the 80s, and we've got to say what kind of ratings we got. Um, and Reed, why don't you go first? Should I go through each one of them? Uh, yeah, what, what technique? What, technique, I'm going to give Big Wayne a six, because he seemed to have a little more life, but I'm going to give the homeless girl only a three. Yeah. Because most of the time, she just sort of laid there on an ugly couch. Like a woman. Like a woman. Uh, <laughs> go ahead, Wayne. What? No, oh, sorry. I, I, told, I told Reed to let it rip, buddy. Let me have it. No, dude, I'm not going to rip on you, man. I think you did a good job. You're brave to bring it in. I bought you some candy to show you. <laughs> yes, you did. Uh, stamina. Candy. Yeah, I gave him. He likes British candy, so... How come we didn't get candy for coming here? 
I'll get you some. Really? Do you like Three Musketeers? Yeah. All right, I'll hook you up. Cool. Uh, <laughs> that was the weirdest How about a copy exchange. of Screw Magazine? <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, stamina, I'm going to give Wayne an 8 movie. because I think this was the edited tape and this thing went on for an eternity. <laughs> like, I had to shave twice during this thing. Uh, the homeless girl gets a 5. Again, I didn't see much love from her. I didn't see much anything. Use of hands, Wayne, I'm going to give a 10 because for about 20 of the minutes there, his whole hand was disappeared. Uh... <laughs> The homeless girl, I'm only going to give a five because, again, I saw nothing from her except bad hair. Uh, lighting, I'm going to give you each the same, a two. Okay. I'm sorry about that. Um, clothing, Wayne, you had socks, uh, tube socks up your knees with big stripes. They were dirty on the bottom, and they look like you don't own a washer and dryer. I'm going to give you only a three. But your girl, for all her ruffles and for wearing a thong, Joe, before you know, thongs were cool. Yeah, yeah. Probably they only come in vogue. I'm going to give her a nine. Nice. Wow. And on the storyline, I'm sorry, I couldn't understand anything that was going on. I'm going to give you both a zero. Wow. Why overall? Overall? Well. There's no overall. Well, there was. Oh, yeah, there's overall the score. You mean just um, one, for the whole yeah, performance? Yeah, for the whole thing. One to ten. Uh, Wayne, I'm, I think I'm going to give you a seven and I'm going to give her a five. I liked, mm. uh, I think you outshone her. Okay, so let's. There's two pros in the room. I'm happy with a seven. All right, so let's. Uh, yeah. you were, oh, good job. Okay, good job. So, so Haley, what, uh, what, did, what did you give him? Well, you see, on my porn idol score sheet. I kind of wrote words in some of the the <laughs> spots instead okay. of numbers, like like help and God, what has happened <laughs> yeah. to my life? So and okay, for, I hope Wayne has for AIDS. Technique. Oh, God, I, oh, never. Okay. Hey, look, um, I got you some candy. Don't Ooh. take it. That's been in his pocket, and there's lint on it. <laughs> it's been in my pocket for about a week. What's wrong with lint? Here. Um, I'm gonna cherish that forever. It's a Tootsie Roll pop. I know. I'm gonna save it. All right. I was kind of um, hoping you... Okay. All right. <clears throat> Whatever. Back to my technique for Wayne. Is interesting. You're a very interesting guy. I couldn't, I couldn't give you a number. <laughs> she gave you a letter. That's so I gave you some letters. And your girl got a blah. <laughs> Agreeable. <laughs> right. As far as stamina, I left it blank because there was not much of actual... Action. There was Action. A, right. It was more sort of prequel going on. It was more right. Yes, prequel. We'll it was more that. like Attack of the Clones and less Return of the Jedi. Uh, <laughs> Are you? You guys into science fiction? I love Star Wars. I hate new Star Wars. Okay. All right. Who's your? Who, what was your favorite? Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi. I love them all. Really. Equally. Unfortunately, I have a horrible nickname. My nickname is Grievous. Jen Grievous. Wow, that's a deep seen, Star Wars reference. Have you seen the the new the last one? Yeah. 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 Yeah, that's just rude. They couldn't give me like a cool one or anything. And who's All they? Right. Who are these people? Uh my agent. Your and, agent. Um How much does your agent take? Ten percent because we have an agent, super agent Bob Eatman. He represents Opie and Anthony, other people. Mm -hmm. Uh how much what percentage does he take? Mm -hmm. She. Oh I'm see, I yeah. have an all female owned agency. Well it's not mine, it's hers. Um it's Red Rose Talent. And she takes 15% of what we make, but she is awesome. She's great. All right. So we got to get rocking. I have to get back to my thing. Okay, I'm sorry. Because right. I know you guys Stamina. have got to leave and get ready for uh, Death Star NYC or yes. whatever you're yes, shooting, yes, the yes. leather Death Star. All right, keep going. So Sam, the use of hands, I give Wayne a nine. And the homeless girl, she did not use her hands. She used another part of her body. All right. Okay. So overall score. I'm not done Okay. Yet. Lighting, zero. Clothing for Wayne is a 10. Wow. <laughs> Clothing for Homeless Girl is a 4 to a 6 because of my own amusement for what she was wearing. Storyline was 7 because the camera was in a helmet. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Thank you. Okay. All right. Genius. A motorcycle helmet. Do you have uh, do, do, Mia Bang? You've been kind of quiet. You, what's, <laughs> I've just been listening. I've uh, been observing. Okay. Do you have a we'll run through some scores real quick? Because we, we, you guys have got to go get ready for your big show. Are, you, are, are they both in the same film tonight? Oh, are they? Ever? We yeah. are. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Together. They're, work, they're working with oh. Dino Bravo himself. Dino Bravo. Yes. I, I hear Logan. he was in uh, Atlantic City. Yes. <laughs> yes. He's doing a five week stint. Yes. yes. <laughs> I in county that is right. I I had tickets to Tom Jones, but I didn't make it. Right. Okay. Go Mia Bang. I'm pretty you love much long time. I'll give you guys just an overall feeling for the video. Do you ever scream out, G.I., G.I.? Okay, keep going. Um, no. <laughs> Sorry. Anyways. He lost me on that one, too. Yeah. So. No idea. Okay. 
people definitely people thought it was forward. interesting. <laughs> <laughs> kind of wanted to see some more action, but... Even when he fast-forwarded it, it was a little slow. You know what? I think it was quite a bit better fast-forwarded. fast-forwarding was great. Okay. But um, <laughs> as a por- porn connoisseur, yes. <laughs> I would probably give you All right. about a... Five, five and a that's half. Still not, I listen, Which that's isn't not bad. bad. No, you know? I'm happy with that. Which isn't bad. Um, yeah. For civilian video? Civilian. <laughs> well, listen to you like you're a Marine. No, no, no I'm sorry. Yeah, when no, we were no, in no, Tecrete, no, 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 boy, no, no, no. you could really take it. Tecrete. In, in the industry. <laughs> in the industry. You ever seen um, them gooks? So that wouldn't be considered amateur beacon. In the industry. Yeah. We they put a bomb in a dog in the middle that of the porn to get shot. Civilians. Okay. All right. All right. Sorry. I'm still happy with a five. I'm having a little flashback over yeah, here. Yeah, it's good, though. I like it. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Matt the Marine would appreciate that. We have a lot of Marine listeners for some reason. Oh, cool. Okay. Right. Uh, Marines. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. You ever start as like a Marine in one of your porns? My daddy's a Marine. Okay, so you've screwed your father in a... <laughs> okay, great. And so I did not say that. I, you, I, said, I did not you say ever... anything about doing any Marine in a porn. I said... I said... Marine, I mean, the so question like was, Marines. have you ever... Have you ever been in a film as a Marine, and then you said, okay, Reed's doing this motion, which is a little bit like, okay, so. I didn't, I didn't hear your question oh, properly. Um, well, we have to, Mia Bang, I'm sorry, uh, to finish the scores. You got any more? Um, no, I just gave an overall one. It was pretty good. Okay. She gave him a tw- like a 5-5. Five, 5-5 five. Right. Five, five and a half. Let's go to uh, Joe Gallant, who right. is the uh, head of the... New York City Porn Company. New York City's only porn company, Black Mirror Productions. And the you. website is blackmirror.com, Black, yes, and is. people can buy... They can go there. What, can you buy stuff from there? Uh, we're, in, we're in transition. Transition? Uh, we're, they can buy things I was, very I soon. I was in transition once, too. It's yes. also called yeah. getting kicked out of the house. Oh, I saw the pictures. <laughs> um, we are bringing a tranny to... Uh, to uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ! We are. We're going to bring her to, uh, to Vegas, to AVN. Yeah, sweet kid. Out of uh, are you Michigan. out there early January? Yeah, yeah, we're all going. I'm in. I'm in Vegas in early January for the Consumer Electronics Show. My gum will all meet. It's the Why? same weekend. It's the same yeah. weekend. Yes, it's the same weekend. We got. We got to hook up. Yeah, we got to hook yeah. up. Yeah. I Seriously. mean, is this the show of me and Reed going to? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So if Laszlo pays, we'll go. Call me an old romantic, but I had to go this way. I gave Big Wayne an eight for technique, and hey, call me an old timer, but I gave Homeless Girl because of her sincerity and her beautiful smile. I gave her a ten. For wow. technique, mm. stamina. I give Wayne an eight because that was a lot of a lot of love in there. <laughs> I gave her a seven because she was kind of lying down a lot. Use of hands. <laughs> I'm a bass player. I know what it is to do sixteenth note trills for about a half hour. Excellent. I saw you trilling, man. That's a, that's a that's a, you, you were hitting the right notes. So, yeah. I never heard of it. I like trilling. Uh, that's, a, that's a ten. Surprises she, arm didn't she, fall got, off. she got a five. Lighting somewhere between an Escobar surveillance video and a racer head. So I gave it a full a full ten. Right. All right. Nice. Um, clothing eight for her. Uh, there's no number I can describe what you're wearing because okay. I don't think you're, you weren't wearing much. And storyline an even four across the board. Thank oh, you very much. now hold on a, a four. He kind of dissed you on storyline, Wayne. I, I got to say that's I, I expect at least a mid range. That was in the mid range. Thank you. Okay, and so you guys have got to go, uh, and you're you're prepping for a shoot. Hold tonight. on, yeah. what's your scores? Huh. I see what you wrote down there. <laughs> I wrote help across the score sheet, just help, and then I underlined it viciously till my pencil broke. And then there's actually you can see a couple places where tears smudge the ink. Um, so you guys have to get going because yeah. you're uh, you have to. What kind of prep are you doing? Are you like you know you. They've got to do some prep, and we've got to do some lighting, and the movie is kind of a Sex and the City meets hardcore uh, New York film. Sex and the City, so... Yeah, it's uh, elegant settings, pretty uh-huh. girls, you know, no, no, none of our usual right. so fl- is it gonna, fluidic stuff. So it's going to be like four girls sitting around complaining about Prada? Kind of. It's yeah. interesting you I, that. <laughs> why any man watched that show, I will never understand. I don't know. Um, it's got to help us all. So it was a strange show, uh, and so and we're invited to come to this thing. At, at, Hell yeah! Okay, and I what time? Do, what time does? <laughs> what time does it start? And what uh, happens if Wayne starts giggling in the middle of the shoot? I love it. The more giggling, the better. <laughs> Just goes on the soundtrack. And I love it. All right. oh, we can start at nine thirty, ten o'clock. Well, we're off the air at ten, and then we're heading straight over. Yeah, come over. Okay, great. So, Reed, you'll get the uh, information. Sure. We're, I'm going to be bring, bringing a handheld recorder, Fine. and we're going to do like an audio documentary. That's great. You okay with that, crazy kids? Oh yeah, great. We've definitely performed in front of way more people than just this. So, <laughs> how many so people have you performed here. in front of? <laughs> My very first shoot, um, there was about twenty people in the room, so it was a little shocking at first, but yeah, quite a few. But then you got the check. Exit. Well, exactly. And so, 
So I've done way more than that. Right. I college, got five right now. Invasion. I don't feel so bad. College right. campus invasion. The whole school watches you. <laughs> college campus invasion? <laughs> wow. It sounds like some kind of... And what school was that? You go to all sorts of schools. Uh, all You go to all sorts of schools all over the country. And you perform in front of college students? Or you what do you go to sorority parties? Or what do you do? Yep. You go to... Yeah, you go to parties, fraternity parties, and you do your scenes there. At fraternity and, parties. Mm-hmm. Now, fraternity Everybody guys gets are drunk are, and parties. Yes, they're scumbags, though. What? It's amazing you can say that word. It's, uh, what? They're they're, they're 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 scuzzy. The guys, right? The, because they get drunk and they they scream lewd stuff. Well, they're stupid because they're you know really drunk a lot of the time. But <laughs> I mean, they're in college. Yeah, I'm sure they're not all. Did you go to? Did you? Do you you go to college? I completed two years of college. Uh huh. Welding or what? Did you? (laughs) What was that? Welding. 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 What kind of college did you go to? Wesleyan, not welding. (laughs) Welding. I went to a um, welding university. Um, I don't want to say it. (laughs) Why? What? What was? Oh, you know what? Okay, it's not. I went to a school in California. It was called Cal Poly. Uh huh. Oh, okay. Uh, Polytechnical. Polytechnic. Um, so you're working on pirate polytechnics. I was doing all sorts of stuff, but so, then I decided that I wanted to make a, a lot whole of, lot of money. So you started doing porn. Mm, I took a semester off, and it's been a year. Okay, <laughs> that's excellent. Um, so Haley Scott and uh, Mia Bang with two G's, uh, porn <laughs> stars or two N's. Right? No, two G. Okay, I was right. right. Okay. Smoked out. Touchy porn stars beating me up. Uh, And we will be uh, watching you guys uh, do your thing a little bit later. Um, and uh, Joe Gallant, thanks for coming by. Thanks Thank for uh, watching that Our her- pleasure, man. horrific uh, train wreck known as uh, Wayne Naked. <laughs> I really didn't think it was that bad. Thank you. I was expecting something horrific the way you guys were talking. <laughs> you know, well, it's us. like he played it down like she was a homeless girl. Yeah, she was homeless when I met her, but it was but like she, she didn't was look homeless. Like a homeless right. Girl. Thank you. She was hot. Man. Exactly. I liked her a lot. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Okay. She was in transition, right? I miss her already. <laughs> I had that problem too. <laughs> this is the Laszlo Show. We'll be back after this. In 1896, Guglielmo Marconi was experimenting with electrical wires and transmitters when he accidentally invented the radio. Hello? Hello? Is this thing working? It's a block party weekend brought to you by Dr. Persimmon's stupendously amazing whooping. Have you always dreamed of a career in radio? Is your past free of major felony convictions? Or could you at least be able to produce forged papers to that effect? Now you can learn the skills you need to get in on this exciting industry at the Delaware School of Broadcasting. The state with no personality or soul will teach you how to lose yours and make a career in radio. Our professors are top-notch, with many having attained the honorable radio title of Sidekick. You'll choose from great classes like like picking a one-word nickname, getting an edgy sound through focus groups, and 1,100 hours of Pearl Jam. And for those interested in a career at a hip-hop station, we offer classes on how to cap a fool with your nine, yo. Call the Delaware School of Broadcasting today. Y'all are listening to the last low show on K-Rock in New York City. Oh, madness, dude! That was lovely. Madness! That was out, great. out in the hall. Yeah. Just then. <laughs> it was a good time. You know what? We Reed and I were concerned the whole uh, show that maybe, um, you know, that we would end up going into the territory where maybe you say take off your clothes or whatever. You were no, very good. No, I knew what direction we were going. And then you were in the bathroom, and I said to both of them, "I go, I'm surprised uh, Wayne didn't uh, ask you to take your tops off." And then uh, they said, uh, "Do you want us to?" And then they ran out in the hall and they took the tops off. Was, and, and you got your picture taken with. They them. are two beautiful young women, without a doubt. Makes me wish I was in the industry. <laughs> well, you just were sort of for a second there. I, I gotta say, and. Uh, you know, I got to say, there was no short jokes, if you know what I'm saying. I expected a short joke at two, you know. You know, I would, Wayne, I have to say, after seeing you completely naked, yeah, I'm feeling a little inadequate, bro. No, are you? I'm feeling a little inadequate. I was, dude, when a porn producer sits here and goes, wow, 
Dude, you're feeling inadequate because sure. I always thought maybe you were a little larger than me. <laughs> yeah, on you. I kind of looked up your shorts too, my friend. <laughs> what are you beach. doing looking at my shorts at the, the beach? At the beach, you know, we go for those windy days when it gets like a parachute. This is the Laszlo Show, episode 19, uh, hanging out with Wayne. I didn't expect such high marks. Who's the, like, that, from a porn star, that's yeah. pretty good, you know. Yes. High marks. Yeah. Um, and, and uh, they took it very serious. Neither n- neither one of them, all three of them, were very serious about the whole thing. They didn't either that, or they just had that. They did. They did shell shock to look on their. No, face. they actually. I, when I went outside, the ones that I expected a lot worse, and I was like, <laughs> how, you know, "How much worse could it get?" I mean, you know, I could have been in the dark. <laughs> I said, "Hey, this is my porn video." <laughs> right. Where did we but, uh, start? We were talking about uh, Mr. T navigation. We're going back after, after you talk about this for the last hour. I'm supposed to go back to talk about Mr. T. Oh, you're just on a tizzy. You're just sure. counting down the minutes till we go to the shoot. Oh, man. This is a once in a lifetime, man. Yeah. That we have to at least do two more shows. Because the next show is, well, it's a, the next one is the best of, right? Yeah. And next we'll, week. We'll but be I think back we're going to record December. audio. We're going to record audio at the shoot tonight. Uh, and then it, that'll be part of uh, the best of next week. I love this life, Laz. You have to get me a full time job. Um, we don't know what's going to happen. Maybe to this you just shop me around if you don't. If you're not interested, maybe there's somebody. Maybe Ed. I'm willing to relocate. Are you? Yeah. I, I don't know so. if your girls are really up for you relocating. Well, you know, if there's a big paycheck involved. You know what I love? Reed is not even back in the room yet. Uh, he doesn't realize he has a job. I know. From six to ten, the guy has a job. He's out there mingling. Exactly. Yeah. I gotta say, and I gotta say, both these guys, to you, you know, you writing down help isn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Reed gave me some good numbers too. Yeah, he gave me props for showing it too. He was like, I don't know if I'd have mine out. Dude, Reed is so scared but, um, that we're gonna talk about his big family secret. No, I, I'm determined that what I brought to the table is what I bring to the table, and each guy could be different. Oh, uh, what? Do I have to bring something to the table now? Oh, no, I'm not saying you have to bring something. I, bring, I think each guy brings something. To, I, I so happily came to terms with that I could bring this to the table. I do believe it brought a lot of less. At one point, I looked over at the phone bank, and there were four red lights. It was blinking, 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 blinking. So uh, I can't imagine what the email is going to be like tomorrow. Uh, you might have to get more bandwidth. <laughs> I don't know. This might cost you even more money. Yeah, if you missed uh, part of this show, we archive every episode of the show and on we- uh, Laszlo.com. And uh, you can also subscribe to it as a podcast, so as soon as the show's over and we archive it, it goes straight to your iPod. You know, I've got some video uh, and audio of people got that that video iPod now is the next big thing. And people, speaking of people shooting uh, video, you know, like 80s porn that you were doing there, people are shooting podcasts for the video iPod. And they uh, they are sending them out for anybody to watch and they are horrible um are they x-rated r-rated no no so it, well there could be advertising people are starting to do that but it's basically just um it's basically just uh you know people Welcome back, in man. their cars read what microphone are you going to bro now did you what, you oh. know you knew you knew we were going back on the air and you're out there like Talking to the chicks. I wasn't talking Look at to the, the sweat chicks. On his you are forehead. sweating. <laughs> I'm not sweating. What was that? Did you escort him out of the building? I, I tried, but they had to take a bunch of pictures and they were gathering up their stuff. And I, you know, because remember there was that incident a few weeks ago where we got blamed we, because somebody's messing around in Howard Stern Studio and it right. has to be us, which right. is clearly it was not us, nor was it any of our guests. So now, you know, I have to make sure I watch the guests Tell all the friend. time and take Ooh. them in all the buildings. So I like it, a little security measure. Well, that, I mean, that's what I was told had to you, do, so that's what I do. And it's just, you know, it's, had, it's the gentlemanly thing to do, Laszlo. All right. Had the gentlemanly like, thing to do. Well, yeah. Did well, you, you got to have a little behind on no, the way out? No, dude. I was talking to Joe. Well, was it like that picture, He's, Reed? I, I never thought that that's what a porn producer would be like he's I'm, such a like a a smart i told you he's a like smart a normal professor. guy i know exactly he's like a col- i mean he's a, he had like those reading was, glasses on the end of his nose cool. yeah he's a great guy it was definitely cool and he was like oh man i hope i didn't get too political in there or something laszlo gave me a funny look when i bashed cheney and i was like fool we bash cheney every week Dude, we man. bash clinton we bash them all politicians yeah, exactly. suck and they don't care about you that's what i'm saying so it's like it was free for all so yeah they were good you know there's a one little uh little hiccup at the beginning but uh i think what was the hiccup well when somebody used a bad word that they shouldn't have (laughs) yeah we are too bad we we only we dumped out three times yeah i forget that and twice on one i always react when you say that one word and i don't for some reason it seems like you shouldn't be able to say that no it's not that yeah 
Oh, you're you're upset with me saying that somebody's scummy. Meanwhile, you're over there saying words I completely have to dump out on. What word did I say? <sighs> Well, we can't obviously, say, I can't say it's no, stupid. No, I know, but I... Uh, you were never... If your idea is that you're going to be a sidekick, uh, you know, professionally, and you're going <laughs> to shop this out and see if you can go do Cousin Ed's show at YSP in Philly... If they'll have me. He's going to have to have, like, 18 delay machines. Yeah, but I, I guess I told you to have your finger on the... Bu- I, emotions were going to run high here. <laughs> <laughs> you have to... Re- and I got to say, both these guys were kind to me. I really expected to be chopped down like But there was nothing there. I was... Man. I, I was... Lazar, what do you think? I was sort of surprised that there was yeah. nothing there really to... I mean, the production values were bad. The clothes were bad. The credits were awful. But mostly, it was <laughs> yeah, it, it totally sucked. But uh, hey, whatever. But I mean, there's nothing for you personally to be embarrassed about. All right. So we're going back to these GPS uh, things that I guess it's called Navtones.com. You can now uh, buy celebrity. You know, you can get like re- celebrity ringtones for your phone. You can get celebrities to do uh, your GPS navigation. Yeah. So there was uh, we were talking about Mr. T had one who's yeah. he's just. Dude, how sold out is he? That's what it is. It's basically if you're so hard up for money that you're going to just do all these things. Right. Do you remember that a couple of years ago there was also this service called Hollywood is Calling? Did you ever? Yeah, read? and Cato Kalin would call you. Yeah, and you, you go on the, I think it's HollywoodIsCalling.com, and they have a whole list of quote unquote celebrities. And you pay through your credit card, um, you know, on the site. It's like 30 or $40. And a celebrity will call you for like two minutes. But there was this whole list of rules about things like, you know, do not ask the celebrity about this. Do not talk back to the celebrity. Take the greeting from the celebrity and then hang up. So I got one from Cato Kalin. Did you? Yeah, I got a birthday greeting. He was on uh, Opie and Anthony uh, the other day. He's still around. He's still around. Why he, would anyone... He's evidently doing a lot of uh, shooting TV shows. He's he's like the Henry Winkler of... Uh... Oh, he shoots me like he is actually in production? Yeah, he's That's producing sad. stuff. Why yeah, is wow. it sad? Why, why, don't beat on Cato. What did he do? Oh, you're you? friends with him now? D. No. Snyder and Cato Kalin. Those are the no-go Will areas Wheaton. for last well, I didn't beat on. I love Will Wheaton. I think he's great. Okay, but wh- what's what wrong did, with Cato Kalin? What did he do? He was li- he was f- he was a uh, voiceover actor, and then he, oh, he was, was a voiceover. Is that, yeah, is that was, what his credentials were? He was doing a lot of commercials. Okay. He was making a lot of money as a voiceover for commercials and starring in commercials and stuff. Yeah, and then he happened to be at the wrong place no. at the wrong time. So he was uh, making so much money that he was freeloading and living in the OJ's garage. Is that what you're telling me? I That's why how, how much he was making from his his career, dude. If a rich person invites you to. St- Crash, like for instance, Wayne got invited by a rich person to take a cruise around the Bahamas. Didn't turn it down. Didn't turn it down. Well, I know, but I got invited by a, yeah, I got invited by a rich person to go do something, and you know, I walked funny afterwards, but, but <laughs> it, we had a great time and it was amazing. What's your agenda here, Lazo? What's the Cato Kalin to you, dude? I uh, nothing. I'm trying to God to get you guys back to the GPS ringtones. Of, well, but that's what I was trying to tell you is that, that I actually all right. That was the tangent that Kato Kalin actually called me. Did because you, I would just do this. I love you. <laughs> did you just get, did you get sexy with him? No, but the weird thing is, is that they won't even give you a time where they're going to call. So they're like, it's sort of like when the cable guy is supposed to come, you know, between the hours of noon and Thursday. <laughs> Kato Kalin will You know, call. do not turn off your ringer. Turn on your answering machine in case you're not home. You know, don't sleep in case it's at 4 a.m. So he just calls. And it's like, hey, it's Kato Kalin. But, you know, my point was is that the people who do these things are not really great celebrities like come on mr t what's he been i got doing? a call from ed mcmahon while i was making breakfast yeah and, yeah a winner. and i was <laughs> it was the weirdest thing ever i was like oh uh i was sitting there making breakfast and like several weeks before this dingy pr chick emailed me and said hey ed mcmahon's doing this star search thing online and since i've got the nationally syndicated radio feature about technology they were saying you know would you be interested in, in talking to ed mcmahon i'm like yeah sure and so the chick wouldn't confirm a time with me yeah. So I'm hung, mad hungover. I'm sitting there like flipping some tofu or something in my skillet, and the phone rings. I answer it. He's like, "Hello, is Laszlo there?" I was like, "Who's this?" It's like uh, it's Ed McMahon, and I go, "Yeah, right, dude." Nice. I go, and so I did that whole like, you know, who is this? Who is this? And then I finally realized it was him. He's like, "We have an interview." I'm mm. like, no, we don't. I go, your dumb PR girl didn't uh, didn't confirm a time with me. I go, I, I'm actually in the middle of something. Can you call me back in 30 minutes? <laughs> so you dissed Ed McMahon. I dissed Ed McMahon. Wow. I, I was hungover. That's power. So Dennis Hopper is doing GPS instructions. You're riding with Dennis Hopper, the easy rider. I'm here to drive you, brother. Tell you where to go. Sit back and relax. I'm going to get you there in one piece. <laughs> Meanwhile, you're asleep at the wheel. How much extra does this cost? I, you know, I didn't see how much it cost, but they've mm. got several people that are 
They're like, because we played the Mr. T thing before Wayne's Porn Award started. Yeah. What are you, high? How do you know I'm not just b***ing you, man? You think I know where you're going? <laughs> Come on. You can actually hear somebody in the background there, like laughing. in the studio, laughing. Yeah. It's a consummate professional, Dennis Hopper. That's the, that voiceover isn't really instilling confidence in no, me it's from not. my GPS system. You know? you know what I love about the like when they get people buy GPS systems for old people, and it then is. they'll pass the exit that they're supposed to go on, and it'll say like you know turn around, oh. and p- p- old people have actually just done a U turn right in the middle of the highway because the because the GPS tells you to. That's crazy. Yeah, the old people I know can't even use like a tape recorder. They're like twenty years behind. <laughs> much less a GPS system. Dude, it's like buying your parents a computer. The dumbest. I know thing I ever did yeah. was I bought my mom and my stepdad a computer. It was like handing a nuclear reactor to a baby mm-hmm. every day with the phone calls. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, they, uh, there's something on the screen and it, something's froze. <laughs> okay, can you give me a little bit more info? Well, we were on the internet. And uh, like, where were you? Well, I, I don't know. It, 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 fix it. Uh, I'm in New York. You're in Oklahoma. Call the Geek Squad or something. I know, and, and pretty soon after a while, they don't even want to tell you. They just bag up the computer and like put it in a closet, you know? Ugh. Do your parents call you with computer stuff? Some. I mean, they're pretty tech-savvy, but, uh, you know, my dad, he still has, like, AOL and just... <laughs> it's his buddy list. You know who buddy you, list. You know who you use buddy list. Yeah, it's a... No. <laughs> this is a bunch of guys in leather. <laughs> Bring out the gimp. His secret life. Mm. No, but they're, they're actually pretty good, but there's some things like... Oh, it just like old people with computers. It's the worst. It's just bad. And, you know, it's like if you're going to buy an old person... I tell, like a lot of people email me and say, what kind of computer should I buy? If you're buying one for a parent, get them, like a, get them a Mac. Get them like an iMac, exactly, Something, man. because you turn it on and you're, they're done. There's, first off, all the viruses and everything else for PCs and yeah. all the crazy windows. Should I update the system part two? <laughs> Old people to be bugging. I know. But that's what I don't understand. Why is anyone buying a PC still? Why is not everyone buying a Mac? Oh, uh, dude. Okay, don't start okay. With that. Now we're going to have to have a knife fight like in, like in that Michael no. Jackson beat it video. We're going <laughs> to tie our wrists together. Everybody gets You're- so upset when you when you advocate one operating system over another. When did this turn into the personal computer show? Uh, you're right, exactly. We're like, we should be on NPR. I was uh, at this tech convention, and um, there's, uh, you know, Star Wars Battlefronts is coming out. It's, it's already out. Have you played it? No, but it looks great. Dude, it looks amazing. And I yeah. talked to one of the guys who's been slaving for the past two years on it. This is much more of a, an online shooter game. This is Star Wars Battlefront 2, which is the sequel to the most successful Star Wars game of all time. Uh, coming out November 1st. It actually pits uh, 24 players on PS2, 32 players on Xbox, 64 players on PC, 4 players on PSP. That's what I love about the PSP is you can actually like play head-to-head wirelessly. Mm-hmm. You, you do that in movie theaters in Manhattan, don't you? Yeah, you just turn it on and you find somebody else who's nearby who has the same game and who wants to jump in. It's like electronic swinging. And then you take them. It's on Xbox, 64 players on PC, 4 players on PSP, all against each other if they want to play online, with over 85 different battle scenarios that people can play, spanning entire six episodes of Star Wars, all six movies, all content from there. those movies are, are dictated in this game. So can I be a stormtrooper? Or? Absolutely. You can be one of four different factions. You can be the stormtroopers, uh, obviously the Empire. Um, you can be the rebels. You can play as a rebel soldier. You can be a, a Republic clone trooper from Episode Three and Episode Two and One. This, dude, he's going to make money until he's dead. He's just going to keep rehashing George Lucas. Oh my God! Yeah, I got to say because a lot of the video game fans I know of have sort of been burned, myself included, by other Star Wars games because sucked. They suck, and they put out at least like three every time a new yes. movie comes out. There's like one Star Wars game a year at Th- least, that's and they one all the, suck. One of the things that people got upset with me when I was on Opie and Anthony talking about like the Nintendo platform. I mean, who is buying the Nintendo GameCube? You know, I mean, yeah, it's no, it, one. It, no one. I mean, they're buying PS2s. They got the Xbox 360 coming yeah. out. Um, and so all these people got really upset with me. But for a while, Lucas was only releasing titles uh, on on Nintendo platform. And then, you know, realized this is crazy. Yeah. Uh, but, of course, there's people that just love their Nintendo. Whatever. You know, play whatever you like. Right. And don't listen to Reed, Mr. Max Snob. No.
episode three and episode two and one, or you can be the CIS battle droids from all the prequel era as well. Han Solo. I've always wanted to be a battle droid. I, he lost me on the last two sentences there. What? <laughs> no, I've been living in the Star Wars universe. For... What? what uh, no. Droids from all the prequel era as well. Han Solo's in there. Luke Skywalker's in there. Darth Vader, uh, Princess Leia, the Emperor, Yoda, all of your favorites from all the movies. So I go to all these uh, tech conventions, you know, where I'm in- interviewing these people, and I always try to throw in the question that, that, that'll throw them off, you know, because they're used to just all these dopey, you know, guys from like PC Magazine and stuff coming yeah. over and asking questions. So I try, I try to throw this guy Battle off. droids from all it the people here so as well. well. Han Solo's in there, Luke Skywalker's in there, Darth Vader, uh, Princess Leia, the Emperor, Yoda, all of your favorites from all the movies. So do, uh, if you're playing Luke Skywalker, can you uh, make out with Princess Leia? <laughs> uh, unfortunately, we're a teen-rated movie, and uh, uh, so we are a teen-rated game, so we didn't get into the, any of the mature-rated scenarios. But that happened in the movie. Right, and, uh, you know, and who knows why or who knows what... Uh, what was the purpose of that one but I think uh, for this purpose of this game you can actually if you were Luke Skywalker you could fight alongside Princess Leia no I want to make out with her I don't want to fight alongside Princess Leia right so apparently incest is not for teens it's not teen rated <laughs> but if you want to put on a mature title <laughs> right yeah brother and sister let me get this straight. go at it Bro- right yeah brother and sister can't make out but they made out in uh, what was that Empire Strikes Back I think that they made out yep um, but you can chop people's heads off with a Electric sword <laughs> right. is basically what you can do. And you can kill Ewoks in those games, can't you? I love killing little bears. Yeah. Dude, what was with that porn star got all weird when I bashed on... Did you Did you notice the tension between me and what was her name? Haley, Haley. Scott? She was... She had... Yeah, she had a little bit of an attitude. And that other chick, Mia Bang, I, she goes, are you really gay? Yeah. And I said, no. I said, that was just a joke when, you know... When I was you know, when I'm approached by prostitutes, I tell them I'm gay just so they leave me alone because it bugs me out. She goes, "Well, I used to be a prostitute." I'm like, "Okay, I'm sorry." Did you miss that part? No. When yeah. was that? I missed that whole yeah, thing. Yeah, you were you were out in the other room. Yeah, because what, you know I was giving our whole the usual speech of do not say this, do not do that, you know all that, and they weren't uh, they weren't having the, any. This of This is it. at the end of the. Um, no, this was in the beginning before they came in, and I know right. there was a, I was getting a little bit of attitude from them, you know, like yeah, uh, and they were like, "What is this station? Is this just like, oh, is this like just in New York?" I was like, "Well, yeah, you know, it's New York is the biggest radio market there, it's right? Like, yeah, but it's just it's New just- York." I was like, well... L.A. bitches? What do you want from us? L.A. bitches. I was like, well, I think, you know, K-Rock right. is actually the biggest rock station in, in America. And she's like, well, you just said it was in New York. It's not in America. How can it be the biggest in America if it's just in New York? I was like, well, it has the did biggest... You, did you inform her that we're no longer New Amsterdam and we have now become yeah. uh, a part of the union? I broke out a PowerPoint presentation <laughs> to explain, like, ratings and things like that for her, but she wasn't having any of it. Damn. So I'm saying... She was a lot of tood. There was, but I she got into it. it. I thought, no. Oh, did yeah, you like her? Of course, her? Was of course she on. did. But she played along. They were they were good guests. She had she had last backpedal in there for a couple seconds. Well, of course, she was an angry porn star. I'm afraid she's yeah going to get somebody to cut you. She's going to cut me. Mm-hmm. Dude, they she had might bouncers. ask you to go out in the hall tonight. You don't actually get to see a viewing. Did you Did you notice the uh, bouncers that were with them? They called him uh, the driver. That's what they always say. It's the driver. But and the, the driver dri- is always over 300 pounds. And packing a gun. Exactly. So I didn't realize that. He did eye me up a little bit outside. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> did he? He did size me up a little, yes. You might have been able to take him. I don't know. Well, I would have liked to have seen that. <laughs> Watch out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Back to Star Wars. Well, I, <laughs> what was the purpose of that one? But I think uh, for this purpose of this game, you can actually, if you were Luke Skywalker, you could fight alongside Princess Leia. Or you can even fight against her, unfortunately, if you wanted to. Uh, Darth Vader, you, of course, you can play as him and choke out Princess Leia if you wanted to. So if you have a choking fantasy, you, Great. Can, you can choke. Uh, I had a friend of mine that went out with a chick that was into the choking thing. Isn't that weird? Yeah. Yeah. You ever heard of that, Wayne? Yes. <laughs> Didn't, didn't the dude from NXS die from that? They like yeah. to, uh... That was the part of his video that he cut out the four and a half hours that he didn't let us see. Yeah. But yeah, it's a whole. There are kids like teenagers, not in a sexual way, but uh, you know, have you heard that they they play that game where they get in their closet and they hang themselves with a belt? That sounds great. Yeah, but apparently they get some sort of rush where they almost pass out and then they let the belt go and right. all the blood rushes to their head and it's like a like a whip it high sort yeah. of. Try weed. Yeah, Works great. Exactly. Have a, have a six pack. Try but, vodka. Uh, you know, a lot of them are passing out and then they just hang themselves um we're gonna take a quick break and uh, be right back <laughs> Laszlo show episode 19 going into the last hour big wayne coming back into the studio you were kind of gone and your face looks a little flushed 
You all right? Maybe thinking about those girls. Those girls, like, legitimately got sort of half naked for you there at the yeah, end. it was pretty nice. Um, it was excellent. <laughs> it was pretty, it was, <laughs> all you had to do was excellent. ask, huh? It was nice, huh? Nice picture, huh? Yeah, it's a, it was, I looked at me's face. The- His face was like, damn, how come I ain't over there? <laughs> oh, and so we should talk. Reed just played a message on his mobile phone for mm-hmm. me that mm-hmm. was uh, from one certain girlfriend of his yes who you'll be surprised to know was has actually been listening to the show excellent uh, mm-hmm. so I'm sure she can critique it and you know tell us what we're doing wrong and how you know reads the star or whatever <laughs> uh, but what did she say Reed she said she's been listening uh, she uh, she was listening to the whole part where we described your your tape your right. porno tape and uh, was uh, getting a little turned on. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> so now, your wife digs me, yeah, this could and be, my girlfriend digs Big Wayne. This could get ugly. Swinging. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what are you doing next week, every year? Uh, <laughs> we're off, you know. Uh, yeah, we're just going to a nudist resort out in California. You guys want to come along? Sure. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh. Well, thank you very much, if that's true. Yeah. So I think she was really imagining your socks and uh, the one was turned on by the socks, huh? That's so weird. She gave you a ten dirty yeah, socks. She, but uh, well, me a, and Reed were just talking about something else that she actually, you know, told us that we kind of thought was really, really hardcore. We're not even going to go there. Yeah. Well, then don't. Why no. are you even bringing it up? Because it's like I got got you a great, uh, pre- you know, Christmas present, and then I did but, get you a great Christmas present. Okay, shut up. Um, we got some fan mail in. The website's uh, LAZLOW.com. This guy writes in from uh, somewhere. <clears throat> uh, hey, Laszlo and everyone at the show. Love you, Reed. No way. Come on. Yep. That's right. Uh, by the way, this is a... Uh, that's a dude. Ninth grade boy. Uh, okay, so here the deal. I know, that's N-O-E, that K-Rock is becoming talking stuff, but what I want to know is what's, W-A-T-S, going to happen to Er show... Is it going to be on 92.3 FM? Is it going to be at the same time, same day? Um, this guy's name is Rabob. Uh, and he says, I typically have better grammar. Uh, not to blow my own horn, I'm a ninth grade honor student. <laughs> and he's misspelled half of the stuff in this email. That's our fan base. That would the be ninth our fan grade base. Honor Probably student. nervous. Uh, no, but so. did I tell you, Lazlo, I got, a, I got a, my first fan letter ever this week. Oh, I was telling Wayne that uh, some when you were downstairs getting porn producer guy that some creepy guy what found creepy? your ad- not creepy. Your fans are creepy. No, they're not. They're sending stuff to your home address. Creepy. Don't you get stuff? Huh? No. No, that's because you're living in a bunker out in Long Island. And Correct. Just, yes, I know. But if your address was out there. Speaking of uh, neighbors, there's a guy on my street. Who was showing? <laughs> yeah, do you want to go there? <laughs> yes, I do. There's a guy on my street that really wanted to come on the show because he thought that we were going to have Mark Echo, you know, the uh, clothing designer and the guy yeah. who's doing a video game, yeah. uh, on the show. But his PR chick was a bitch to me this week, so he's not coming on the show. Um, yeah. How? What did she do? She just. She was just sort of like. She went very nice on the phone. Mm-hmm. So, um, she was upset that I had been talking about Matrix Path of Neo video game more. What? So I said, whatever, honey. So we were going to have Mark Echo on the show, and now we're not, because I hear he sucks. Um, but uh, my one of my neighbor, uh, who is an artist, really wanted to meet Mark Echo mm-hmm. to show him his portfolio. So I said, you gotta, you got to show Wayne naked pictures of your girlfriend. What are you, a pimp? Uh, it worked. It worked, dude. We're out in front of Liza's house. The kid comes walking up. And literally, like he was on a vacation, he opens up. He's got like this pink little satchel. Like you would almost like hold like a DVD, pl- a DVD disc. Okay, it's about the size of that. And he opens it up, and it accordingates out, and it's like ten pictures on both sides. Like, oh, this is me and my wife on vacation. But no, it's all just pictures of his chick. And I'm standing like, this is great. Can I take this home? <laughs> I didn't want to give it back. <laughs> How are they looking? She was hot. Mm-hmm. It's definitely mm-hmm. doable. Wow. Nice. The, this is Liza's neighbors, the block that he lives on. Yeah. Good old fashioned blackmail never goes out of style, does it? No, oh. it's not blackmail. It's, you know, you got to give a little to give a little. But come on, if somebody came to you and said, oh, give me some pictures of your girl naked, you no, I beat him in the face. So? Should, yeah. No, Liza's not on that, on that end, you know? Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. You're on the power Dude, end. Dude, I'm telling you, last week, Nintendo FedExed me probably $1,000 worth of. DS's and micro, uh, the, the Game Boy Micro, yeah. which I gotta say, I've got a PSP, Wayne, 
which I thought was the greatest video game thing ever. I've been playing some Donkey Kong jump through space thing yeah. on that yeah. little game, way Boy, too much literature. game Boy Micro like every night. I'm addicted to it. Don't you have a PSP? I do have a PSP, and I have a Grand Theft Auto Liberty City stories for the PSP. Yeah, I actually got to but play some this t- next week. And yeah. our, our free copy is coming when? Do you, you have, a PS- have a PSP? Do you have one? No, but I would get one if you gave me a free game. You're unemployed. You would go and get one if he gave you a game. <laughs> yeah, I, well, maybe I would. I've been thinking about so it. So, these, um, as you know, the Indians have taken all our jobs. and um, The Indians, Southeast Asian Indians, not... Right. Like reservation. Uh, and so this one uh, gentleman has... Ma- <laughs> I was going to say the 7-Eleven Indians. <laughs> of course you were. <laughs> of course you were. Wow. Um, yeah. So this guy, uh, his name is uh, Ravi, and he's doing video podcasts. See, they've got those new uh, iPods that you shoot videos on. And pod, do you know how many people email the show asking if we'll come on their podcast? Yeah, great. It's a ton of people, it's dude. Like an audience of six people. <laughs> right. How many people download a podcast, do you think? I, I don't know. Mm-hmm. But What do they want to talk about with you? I don't know. They want to have Reed on. They want to have Wayne on. Well, how come these don't get forwarded to me? Because, dude, you got to be working on this show, not working on some jackasses like, you know, little basement radio show. And I must say you did an excellent job this week. You mean rounding up the guests? Very yes, P- very professional. So Thank this you guy, very much. this guy who's uh, up at MIT or whatever, uh, Indian dude, is shooting a, a a TV show, a podcast, a video podcast from his car during his commute. He does a show uh, where he interviews his wife every time. Okay, so this is the uh, second episode of Drive Time. I've got my little co-host here. Want to introduce Hi. yourself? I'm Sonia, the co-host. And uh, how did you get to be uh, involved in this in Drive Time? Well, I'm married to you, so... See, now this would be great if they skidded and slammed into a tree and blood flew all over the camera. Then, then it would be an interesting show. Who is listening to this? Um, it would be... Uh, I don't know. People are, but I guess people are downloading it. I guess. Um, so married to you, so and you drive me to work. There you go. So because I don't want to take the bus, I'm the co-host. A ringing endorsement. <laughs> um, so how was your weekend, Ravi? My weekend. She's asking how his weekend was. You live with him, stupid. Right. You knew. And yeah, not to get too heavy, but you know, like in 10 years when everyone is able to make, you know, music or whatever, it's just going to be, there's going to be so much noise out there that there's going to be no, it's going to be like when you have the same power as you two to release your own movies or whatever, or music, you know what I'm saying? Like, basically with with this technology, anyone can release a video, anyone can release a TV show, anyone can release a song, and pretty soon it's just going to be so much noise, there's going to be... There's no value to anything anymore, you know what I'm saying? Like, when th- th- this guy thinks this is a TV show? <laughs> uh, Jake Fogelnest. Jake Fogelnest. You should, uh, Jake, uh, you should what maybe do, you do a video uh, podcast of, um, you know, your day. I actually did that once. Let me but that's right, but that was a huge underground uh, public access sensation when you had a show right no, up no, in your I, apartment. I oh, okay. One time I was uh, just bored. I brought my video camera and, and filmed myself uh, getting in a cab and then coming here to work. It was a, a exercise in, uh, uh, I don't know, instant editing. Or and so, and somebody saw that and said, "Wow, I'm going to have Jake Fogelnest on uh, I Love the '80s 3D on yeah. VH1." Right. I made thirty-eight thousand dollars off of some internet thing I did. Nice. No, I'm just kidding. Oh. You know, I'm I'm, I'm, uh, I'm watching. I, I actually TiVo'd that uh, I love the '80s 3D thing because uh, Will Wheaton sent me an email and told me that he's on some of them. Mm-hmm. And uh, I sat down to watch it, and I swear to God, I knew half of the people doing the comments on it. I knew because yeah. Jake Fogelnest is on there. Yep, with his witty comments. The, the problem with that show, there's like text flying across the screen. Have you seen it lately? Yeah. It's ridiculous. You know, it, they actually gave out 3D glasses for this one. Oh, did they? And I, I picked them up at a, a Best Buy and all those stupid graphics are supposed to be popping out of the screen and it doesn't, it has no 3D effect. No. Oh, really? Yeah. It, they cheated. Now, I I have to ask you this on this. I I love the uh, the eighties thing. Uh, yeah. Do they? What? I left the house tonight and they were showing I love the holidays, which is like an hour and a half. I swear to God, hour and a half special. I didn't even know, and I'm in it. And I, <laughs> <laughs> I, 
I but guess like last time I was there, I they taped you know they asked a bunch of questions about Christmas and Halloween and like there's me and Booker. You know, <laughs> I didn't even know it was on. I'm leaving the house. I can't escape uh, the you know. Yeah, it was because I you know I, I was I was on the phone with Will the other day. I meant to ask him about this. Do they all the stuff that you comment on? Do they show you little clips of it so you like remember the Little Mermaid? Or are you given the list of stuff you have to comment on? Yeah, uh, like a couple days before you do it, you, you get a giant package. Uh, and sometimes they send you videotapes. Uh, the first time I, I did, like, I Love the 90s, they sent me, like, five videotapes. Do you really love the 90s, though? No, I'm lukewarm about the 90s. Okay. I'm lukewarm. I, That's they're the a little better than the, the aughts, mm-hmm. than the OO. The OO, yeah. Is that officially what we're calling it? I, the, we, uh, the, the The right now, the uh, the double zero, not a big fan. No, it's it. Going it's great. Favorite. Going great. Till about 2001. Now it's just been a dark cloud of yeah, it's a, weird cyber conspiracy garbage. Don't yeah, you think? It's, a, it's a real bummer. Don't you think the '90s were like a great time and w- every you know sex and there was no AIDS? You know, oh wait, the, yeah, there was. Come on. That was the um, <laughs> what are you talking about. <laughs> yeah, you know, back in the '90s, going to Studio Fifty Four and <laughs> right. the Andrea True connection. Right. Those were great times. Yeah, yeah. We used mm. to go to the speakeasies. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> man, you were working on the Godfather's Pizza and carrying a gun in the '90s. I was. Yeah, I I had a nine. And that's right. We talked about that last yes. time. So, Jake, they can just ask you some questions and use your image in a show, and then they'd have to pay you per show, or as I go? They can just use anything they want yeah, from you? Yeah, you, you go in there for a couple hours, they give you a check, and then next thing you know, you're on television, you know, 12 hours a day. <laughs> nice. It's ridiculous. But they've gotten a little crazy with the graphics, though, dude. Oh, they, yeah, they're, yeah, they're putting, yeah. like They're doing these little silly skits, like they were talking about Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, and there was yeah. these two guys going, eee! like, you know, they were doing a little miniature version of it. It, it got a little goofy. Well, that's why... Your I, part was great. Yeah, well, a miniature... I'm not sure how Sparks is a ratings bonanza. <laughs> <laughs> but apparently, obviously, nobody has an attention span anymore. You know, that's why he right. doesn't play videos, because two minutes is too long to pay attention it's, for it anyone with under, the like, bug, 30. You know, it started with the bug, and now it's just, you know, I, when you watch Nip Tuck. What bug? The, 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 the let bug. Me, let me explain the bug. Yeah. The bug, when you flip channels now, they've got the logo of the channel that takes about, about an eighth of the screen down uh, at the bottom yeah. right. It is so annoying. Yeah. I I actually wrote a letter to uh, the president of the local NBC affiliate because I was I was really angry. Uh, I was watching Law and Order, and <laughs> as right. I'm as everybody does, because you can't not because right. it's on all the time. Right, right. just because just you like hearing kung kung kung. Yeah, right. kung kung. I was I think I was watching Law and Order Dateline NBC. Actually, <laughs> um, no, but I'm watching it, and you know I understand that every once in a while they have to give you know these weather updates. But they, pl- you know, like, so right in the middle of an intense scene in Law and Order, I hear, bong, bong, bong. <laughs> and then, and then the stupid, you know, weather advisory comes across the screen. And, uh, excuse me. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Don't, don't uh, worry. Yeah, it's fine. We're just on the air. Yeah, so we're only doing a, uh, <laughs> no, I'm right in the middle of a hilarious uh, So tell me joke. more about how yeah. uh, people, uh, you know, busting into your television's annoying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. No, so, okay, so, yeah, so <laughs> it comes across the screen weather advisory, but they do it, like, three times in a row. So I can't hear Sam Watterson, you know, make his, you know, awesome closing arguments because it's stupid. So I actually wrote an email to, like, you know, the president of local NBC affiliate saying, you know, hey, knock it off. We get it once. You know, you don't have to keep going bong, bong, bong. And uh, they wrote me back. Did they? Yeah. What did they say? They said, you know, no, we're, we're going to continue doing it. But thank you for your email, jerk. That's pretty much what they said. Wow. We have to get the weather out. And this and is how you, we do it. And you said, I'm trashing you in the overnights, fool. Yeah, that's what I said. I said, you don't turn on WXRK FM 2A to 6A because uh, so you're you... getting the business from me. <laughs> <laughs> the business. They actually yeah. offered us that time slot, I think, Jake. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> they, uh, and we turned it down. No. Um... So, how many of these I Love the 80s things have you done? I think uh, 14. No, I I, uh, I just did like uh, 100 Greatest Teen Stars. I went in and did that the other day. I mean, do you have to? Is there research that has to be done? Because I couldn't no. name 10 great... I I'm mean, going to shove answer that, that thing. Really answer it. Answer it. I'm on the radio. Like, yes. actually talking live. I'm turning this off. Great, great. Sorry about that. Sorry. Maybe it's VH1. Yeah, it's probably yeah, it's probably VH1. <laughs> it's trashing them. So, do you have to do research when you go on these shows? Like, because they've done so no. many of those. I love the '80s that they're probably busting on things that you don't even remember. It's like, oh, remember that time where this person did this, and you're like, no, nah, I, 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 you know, but I'm kind of a pop culture nerd. Even just, with the teen stars, yeah, really, there wasn't really? anything that kind of stumped me. Wow, who's your favorite teen star? Uh, I would say uh, uh, Danny Faustino. Never heard of him. 
you know, the gay kid from Who's the Boss. Oh, yes. Oh, okay. That's all you have to say is the gay kid from Who's the Boss. Right. Yeah, he's, actually, he's out now. <laughs> yes. He's publicly out of the closet. But you knew he was, he should have been out back then. Yeah, we knew in 84. <laughs> right. it, just, it, 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 it caught up with him, and then he, you know. So, mm-hmm. ha- now, you have been trying to get fired from the station by playing um, soft rock during some of your shifts. Yeah, I just, uh, yeah. <laughs> How, what any any hijinks lately? I'm still here. <laughs> uh, no, actually, uh, uh, I'm psyched that there's a, a system of a down special on after this because it means I don't have to talk for an hour. Oh, really? Is yeah. there a special on after there, us? Yeah, so don't go out of delay because I have to play a CD from ten to eleven. Okay, there's some sort of system of a down special. Um, Stay tuned. And we just got really technical. Yeah. Uh, so what? You have to listen to the system of a down thing, and then you have to hit. You have to dump if they curse? It's, it's some silly policy. I mean, somebody's already listened to it. They, they've put the CD together. Right. But the policy is whenever we play a CD back, we have to be in delay. So, interesting. Yeah. If anybody else wants to hear anything about these uh, interesting policies, it's uh, 40 West 57th Street. Just send a self-addressed stamped envelope. Uh, Wayne said he heard you the other night. Just uh, or maybe it was Reed saying uh, that he was just going that you were going ah here I am I'm watching a film I don't oh, yeah. care oh yeah <laughs> I saw you that you're like ah. I, I did do that the other night yeah. I was watching uh, uh, Grey's Anatomy uh, uh, the the television show so you just no you said you were watching uh, Coen Brothers movie you said oh, I'm watching Raising Arizona I don't care yeah I, back I, or something like that what I did was I didn't talk for an hour I just played the same pre recorded message over yeah. and over again just saying, oh, yes, please right. don't bother me I'm watching this that's Here's right the next it was, song. this is Jake I can't come to the microphone right now because <laughs> I'm over here watching a movie. <laughs> Literally just sit here watching a movie. Yeah, and I knew because with other DJs it might be a bit, but because we know you, that we knew that right. that, was no, true, I was that you really, really were watching a movie. <laughs> it's nice not to care, isn't it, Jake? Yeah, why not? You know. Mm-hmm. Wow. It was like one in the morning on a Tuesday. Who was who's paying attention? There's somebody listening. Nobody's gonna fire you though. We just had a room full of porn stars, and we're not gonna get fired. Yeah, I noticed there's a, uh, a bunch of Al Goldstein's publications. Well, evidently the guy that was just here um, is might, the publisher. You might- I think he's a, he says he's a writer or an editor or something for Screw Magazine. Can, uh, so, then what's the deal? I guess Al's not involved in it because he's nah, homeless, right? Yeah, right. He was living at, like uh, underneath the bridge where Wayne used to go smoke crack. <laughs> that is sad. I know. The guy used to be a millionaire, and then he says, I think his wife sued him. Do you know what the deal is, Jay? I, re- I really don't. I just know that he was like completely out on his ass homeless. Yeah. Because he, w- he showed up to Stern. He also lost a, a ton of weight. That's right. He had that stomach stapling surgery. Yeah. But last I heard, he was like working in a restaurant and he got fired. It was, it was just sad. I, I think it's sad that people get, chop out part of their stomach instead of just saying no to Oreos. That's just, it's right. just disgusting. Stop eating. Right. That's it. I'll solve the problem. Let's get rid of the thing that digests food. <laughs> yeah. What is, it's it is a, a gastric a, bypass, right? Gastric bypass. Yeah. That is a crazy system, though. I mean, that they can staple your stomach, eh? Uh, sta- they basically just remove... Like most, your most of your stomach. Uh, but how do they get it back if they remove it? <laughs> you don't man. You just make your stomach smaller. You so you eat your less. stomach gets real no, small. I, I thought there was a reversible, you know, scenario. No, it's there. not like a vasectomy. No. No. All right. <laughs> it's it's uh, they take out part of your stomach, so you literally you eat like a few grapes, and then you're like, oh, I'm so full, <laughs> and then uh, then that's it. It's not like a vasectomy, but you you can't get chicks pregnant after you uh, have the uh, <laughs> right. operation. Well, if you're so fat, you typically can't get chicks pregnant anyway. You got to get a chick. Um, wow. So we completely lost. We were talking about this. Yeah, what are you? Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm going to play something like what? Jaguar Skills or something. Uh, so this guy, this guy's doing a uh, TV show from his car as he's stuck in traffic in Boston. Uh, and Robbie, my weekend was great. <laughs> talking about what did weekend. I do this weekend? Um, I saw the sun this weekend. See, this is what th- th- everybody talks about: the great new future of video iPods and and podcasting. This is what you have to look forward to. That's what I'm saying, and that yeah. is going to get the same weight as like you know Lost or something that's actually worth watching. It's like it's, when it's... internet radio first came out. You know, I was working mm-hmm. at a radio station. Be like, dude, man, you are out of a job, dude. We're making an internet radio station, and it's going to like be cyber future and like. Nobody's going to listen to the radio anymore. Right, it's like you forgot you have to be good. You have to have something interesting to say. You can't talk about you saw the sun. We are entering an age of narrow casting. That's, yes. what, I, that's yes. what I'm talking about. And do we really want to enter this age? Well, I, I don't know, think so. I want somebody to spend a million dollars on every episode of Lost so yeah. I can watch that. Stuff that's good is going to you know get attention. Stuff that's not good is not going to get attention. But this is great. What did I do this weekend? 
Um, I thank you. I saw the sun this weekend. For the- what is this? This is like a podcast, it's like yes, a video podcast. This is one of the very first video podcasts, uh, you know, for the new iPods. Right. Uh, it's a guy who is mounted a camera on his dashboard, and on the way to work, uh, he interviews his wife. First time in uh, over a week. And it was a, uh, a magical experience. Yesterday. Yesterday. It's like when first. television, you know, first started, like uh, the DuPont Network. Like, what what did yeah. they used to show? They, they, you know, like you got to start somewhere, I guess. Like, yeah. Uh, like the first TV shows were just like you know, like a like a cat chasing a mouse for, <laughs> and like, wow, look at the magical light box. A train pulling into the station. <laughs> yeah. You guys seen that Andy Warhol art film where he shot a uh, somebody? Hey, now. That's not me. <sighs> We're just having all kinds of problems, aren't we, Laszlo? Mm-hmm. Um, it, that art film where he shot a girl asleep for 16 minutes, and it's just just straight film of some girl sleeping for 16 and minutes. And I love it. Yeah. Dude, that's so artistic. No, it's stupid. Every Monday morning, I can never remember what I did on the whole weekend. It's kind of strange. because I- Maybe do some show prep before the big <laughs> so eye drive. So why are we playing work? this? That's, I was with you the whole weekend. This guy's the next Andy Warhol. Yeah, yeah. No, he's not. He did nothing on Saturday. It's a, a married couple <laughs> talking about their awful weekend, and this is the future. We, we went to CBS. That the was the big, big, big outing. Rip, <laughs> the rip roaring adventure on Saturday. Um, but we were supposed to go. We were supposed to go to, to City Sports downtown to be good for lunch. It, it's people t- talking about their weekend. Oh, we went to CBS, and then we were supposed to go downtown. So let's not play anymore. It, well, that's, that's it. I just <laughs> I just wanted to show you what we have to look forward to. Patriot Act video iPods done. Are they do they are they signed up on free FM? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they have do the they, drive time slot. They follow Penn. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's a little jab. I, t- I wow. was told, I was told not to say bad things about the station. Um, okay, you continue to do that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll leave that up to you, Jake. You're a little bitter. But didn't oh, corporate ask bitter. you about Jake that one time? Yes, I was having a conversation with somebody at corporate because they were they wanted demos of our show because they uh-huh. were they were considering uh, burying us in overnights like you. And um, uh-huh. they um, uh, they said, uh, well, you know, we I like it. And I won't say who this uh, high up guy in Infinity is. He says I like it, but I, who was the guy that was bashing Infinity in the <laughs> station? I go, that's Jake. He's worked for your company for a long time. That's right. We gave you up in a second, baby. <laughs> we fine. sold you that out. Is, that is absolutely fine. I've well, spoken to those same people myself. They mm-hmm. they, they they're very aware of uh, how I feel. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Are they? Oh yeah. Have you now? D- but you said you've got a big project coming up. Uh, you, didn't you get signed to something? I I have no big project coming up. I've I've uh, I got nothing to plug. Right. Clean the needle. All right. Um, <laughs> you love that joke. Don't I you? do. Yeah. Uh, yes. Let's tell Jake where we're going after the show. He might want to load up the yeah, hard you, drive and come. Yeah, we're uh, <laughs> we've been invited to a, a porn shoot. You know what the thing is that like if you, when you get there it might be depressing. I, That's it, what dude, we're hoping for. We're hoping for. I hope to see Explain. girls. I want to see girls crying in the no. sidelines on the phone with their parents. What am I doing? I'm on drugs. It's, like, be it's very te- like it's very clinical. technical. Yeah, yeah it you is. know, like they're really making a movie. It's slow and tedious and not sexy at all. I got all night. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'd nice. be afraid. I'd be afraid that like it would ruin the uh, the mystique of porn. No, this. It- no, it's when, naked. When they say who we need an extra, my hand's going up. Gotcha. <laughs> Romantic moments with Big Wayne. <laughs> yeah? So I'm hanging out at this porn shoot and uh I'm ready for it, sure. Are you? Yeah, we're going as a little extra. Where do you draw the line though? What if it's guy on guy? Yeah, I draw the line. <laughs> but Only if it's last. Like so, slow down, dude. Yeah. What if oh, they just need you? That porn star thought I was gay. Oh, that's right. What if they just need you to appear like in the background? Oh, that's what I'm saying. If really? What like, if they like what drop if... off a pizza or something like that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm your guy. Make a little cameo, give a little smile and a wave, and hey, I'm It'll on my way. It'll be like uh, the video that we watched of you banging the homeless girl, where you're waving at the camera and I smiling. Didn't, I didn't it. wave. I smiled. You acknowledged the camera a lot, without a doubt. Are you, you look kind of lost, Jake. Uh, I'm just uh, w- wondering if that. that's on a uh, podcast. <laughs> where, where do I download that? Oh, it's up there. No, we're we're the taking it, I think. No, uh, I, I uh, unloaded it. Oh, you oh, did? Oh, yeah. You? You're yeah. safeguarding that thing, huh? Right. right. All There's, right. You missed, uh, if you would have come earlier, uh, Wayne, we watched a video of him banging a homeless girl in the 80s. Yeah. It's, it, I love the 80s in 3D with <laughs> Wayne's ass. That's what it was. 
I just uh, got edged out by uh, Webster. <laughs> we're gonna, uh, should we should we cover Webster or Wayne banging a home? Let's go with Webster. <laughs> Wayne made the list of 100 teen idols, though. Because, yeah. yeah. Yes, he did. He was number 89, exactly. right behind uh, the girl from, I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember the You're running out of steam, bro. I know. Um, so we should play a quick Jaguar Skills uh, adventure. This is the cartoon. In fact, we got an email the other day. Somebody saying, what happened to Jaguar Skills? Uh, Reed and I did an audio cartoon um, with this DJ that we met who's a, a British ninja DJ. And we, we made a, a cartoon serial. We did four episodes. And then uh, K-Rock said, well, we're not going to give you any production budget for your stupid show. And we said, yeah? Well, then we're going to suck. What do you think about that? And it's been that way for 18 and, weeks. And they said, uh, I go, what about the guy after us? And they go, who? And I said, Jake Fogelness. And they go, we never heard of him. Right. We thought we took his keys away like two months ago. <laughs> right. Um, so this is uh, Jaguar Skills. My name is DJ Jaguar Skills. My secret ninja powers are revealed to me when I hold aloft my magic stick. Jaguar. Jaguar. With my fly ebony honey at my side uh -uh. And my friends, the mighty fat boss crew at my back I back off evil Jaguar skills The funkiest ninja in the universe, 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 universe. Jaguar skills We join our hero as evil agents From the brotherhood of the throwing star Threaten to overrun his secret mountain hideout ah, Come on man <laughs> You like pussies. You like you like a bunch of spazzies, man. We're all fighting like Down syndrome patients here. Oh bollocks! Bloody hell! Time out. It's that old slag on the line again. Oi, darling! You know me and the fucking super ninjas are in the middle of a battle here. You know I'm stabbing bloody zombies. I've got crazy moves going on. You know I'm like a fucking like, bloody ninja nightmare. You know my magic stick, yeah? It's in full effect. Thank you for calling Unplanned Parenthood. How may I help you? Yo, yeah, hello, darling. Um, my slag's about to give birth to a ninja, and uh, I was wondering if I can get the morning after pill. Um, or can I just punch her in the bollocks? Join us next time for another Jaguar Skills Adventure. <laughs> So, Jake, that is uh, Jaguar Skills. We're, we're, we're turning that into a cartoon, like a real cartoon, because right now it's sort of a radio cartoon. That's fantastic. Are you into that? I was, I was excited <laughs> from the, from the get-go. Were you? Yeah. Your, your radio crew has abandoned you. Uh, can, I, can I tell you how many times this happens <laughs> during the show? I am the Does only... Really I'm I am the only one with any radio experience amongst these knuckleheads. Mm -hmm. Wayne is a carpenter mm -hmm. from Queens. Um and uh Reed is a Reed is like a um I don't know, he's unemployed. And doesn't seem to think that it's important to come onto the show. He stands out in the hall. Who are you on the phone with? I, I can't say. Yoko, weren't you? Yep. Are you does she understand that you're doing a goddamn radio show? She does. It isn't Wayne's not here either. He went to go get me a soda, serving a purpose. I would have done that. Oh, now. See? Uh, mm -hmm. you, you really know Yoko Ono? No, no, it's his girlfriend who's trying to destroy the show. No, oh. she's not. She is, too. Um, what, what if you went out with Yoko Ono, though? That'd, that'd be nuts. I, yeah, I'd, <laughs> You could have I'd, a piece in. I'd naked. be living a lot better than I do now, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, the Dakota. That's a fancy building. That's right. We can make music and... Lie in bed naked together. So, uh, you a uh, Matrix fan there? Yeah, I, I like the first one. <laughs> there's a, uh, you know, think, speaking of Star Wars mil milking every dollar, there's a Matrix video game. Right. Another Matrix Another video game. Another yeah. one. I, played the, like... I got the first one. Did you? Yeah, and the bad. Matrix. It was fun. Yeah. Um, if you ask most people which is their f favorite Matrix movie, they generally pick the first Matrix movie. So far, there's been no game ever done on that movie, and, and there's also been no game starring Neo. So, like, our, we did a Matrix game before, but we didn't... Wait, now, which one's Neo? Is that, uh... That's Keanu. Party on! 
Yes. I can never take him seriously ever. No game starring Neo. So, like, our, we did a Matrix game before, but we didn't have Neo as their hero. So, it's like buying a Spider Man game and you're not going to get to play as Spider Man. And in the game, you, you go through the path that Neo went through from, you know, a lowly office guy running around with your cell phone getting ordered around to almost being a god by the end of the, of the game, which is a fun arc for a video game to be able to do all that. The character this time is really your own you can do whatever you like with him so that's really our twist can you bang princess leia i guess is that instead of it being you're neo in the game you're not only neo you're also the one what is he talking about you're the one you're the neo there is no spoon there <laughs> what are you talking about uh, uh, that, that's a popular quote from the first matrix movie there is no spoon. It's supposed to mean... Was that yawn intentional, say. Reed? No. You just yawned on the mic. You couldn't hear that. Mate, I, how could I not hear it? <laughs> Good Lord, the guy in Boston who's doing the podcast from his car managed to stay awake, at least. <laughs> hey, uh, it's, so after the show goes... After the station goes talk, you interested maybe a producer job there? <laughs> Actually, yeah, I would All love right. to do something like Give that. Give up the smack. About 50% of this game is the Matrix everyone knows. About 50% is brand new stuff. The directors decided to change the ending of the whole trilogy, and you can only... See, this is what I don't get about the Wachovia brothers, or whatever their name is. Wachowski... What are their names? The cross-dressing wife-leaving freak. Are they? Well, one of them did. Didn't one of them leave his wife and start dressing in women's clothing? I swear to God. I, I don't know. One of the Wachowski brothers like decided, hey, I'm a billionaire now. I'm going to put on a bra and leave my wife. I swear to God. Well, wouldn't we all be saying? I love the 90s. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. It's uh, right. Jake Fogelness with irrelevant information. <laughs> yeah. Decided to change the ending of the whole trilogy, and you can only see it if you finish this game. They actually pause this game, come on screen, and present it to you. And it in a dress. Explain to you why they changed the ending of the trilogy. So it's like the ultimate payoff for a Matrix fan. Let me guess, it's a crossover uh, Bill and Ted. Um, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I don't think so. See, I could never take anything Keanu Reeves does seriously after, because we watched Bill and Ted every afternoon in college. Yeah, he had a riveting performance as Ted Theodore Logan. <laughs> Wow. Full name busted out just now. Mm -hmm. I love the 90s. Yep. <laughs> Dude, I, uh, Bill and Ted's classic. So you've done uh, you, you've done I love the 90s on VH1? Yeah. And you've done I love the 80s. And now in 3D. Yeah. Okay. Now did you, did you do pre-3D? Uh, no, this is the first I love the 80s I did. Okay. And are you going to do like I love last week or... Uh, I, I'll, I'll I love whatever, tomorrow. I'll, I'll do whatever they want me to do. Really? Those is the people, money any? They're, 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 it's all right, and they're real nice. And it's not that hard. And it's it's fun. the same company, isn't it? It's yeah, this company, Viacom, big juggernaut. I've never not worked for Viacom in the last eleven years. Oh, you're about to. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I mean, it's, it's not, but you know, I'll go somewhere, and Viacom will buy it. That's the thing. You know, it's just that mm -hmm. they own everything. They don't own everything. That's Clear Channel. Um, I don't work for them. So uh, Reed's a big fan of. Uh, of anime? No. Uh, uh, dude, you've got an Asian fetish. There's now an anime real doll. Oh, good did, lord. Did you see this? There's uh her name is Anna May. Oh man. And she's got those big What is it with the the Asian videos? The girls have those huge headlight eyes like they're kind of like, "Oh, somebody just, you know, hit me in the butt." Mm -hmm. What what is with the the anime thing? And did you know that like Asian chicks are actually buying contacts to make their pupils look really big, so they look like like if they're in an anime cartoon? Are you serious? I swear, I read it on the internet. They're dying to get in bed with eccentric rich nerds. <laughs> right. <Good Lord>. <laughs> <laughs> but all those anime flicks are the same. It's like in a cyber future where all the chicks have big eyes and big breasts, the world's coming to an end, and the corporation is watching everything you do. You know, mm -hmm. but are, are they supposed to be? I, I'm confused because they have the big eyes. Are they supposed to be looking like, you know, Western women? Or are they supposed to be Asian women? I, I don't know. I never they know what's going on. I know that. they love Western women because I knew this chick in college. She was a model, and she actually flew over to Japan for a photo shoot. And she said, "If you are a white woman in Japan, you get mobbed and like molested on the street." Really? The, the, yeah, the little short oompa loompa of you know, mm -hmm. four foot high Asian dudes just come over and love you long time. I have a I have a black friend who, who went to Shanghai. Oh, everybody has a black friend, Reed. <laughs> okay. 
He said he went to Shanghai and he said when he was walking down the street, people would stop him and ask him for his autograph. <laughs> <laughs> I swear that is true. They want a picture. Really? Yeah. They never no. seen a gentleman of color? No. Wow. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Um, so, Jake, when is. When is the the Infinity Chain and radio in general switched into that HD radio? If you know about this, it's like the the, the new radios. They're digital radios, yeah, so that it, you get Jake Fogelness saying that he's watching movies in crystal clear sound. Yeah, it's like the the conversion to HD TV. They're doing the same thing with radio, right? Right. Uh, and it's supposed to be done by like two thousand eight. And you have to buy a new, but you right. have to buy a new radio to listen to it. Right. I and it's uh, they think that it's going to save regular radio. It's, and here's the other thing: the uh, electronics uh, manufacturers are fighting Hollywood and content providers to make it a law that devices can only record 30 minutes of radio. What now? What's the point of that? Because, because they're afraid that with the new HD radios, if people start selling sort of TiVo-like devices oh, for radio, Lord. that you'll just basically set up this device that's tuned into a music station. It records every song that's played, right. names it, catalog, catalogs it, puts it on a hard drive, and it's basically like you've got all these songs for free now. What See, what people, the people who own the copyrights, the big guys in suits, what they don't have figured out is every time that they come up with some sort of encryption protection thing, there's going to be some nerd in Sweden with a computer who's going to break the code. Those are our fans, dude. Well, you know, <laughs> hey, nerds in Sweden, you're listening to The Laszlo Show. Keep <laughs> cracking them codes so I can download Desperate Housewives. It's always, but it is Sweden. Yeah. It's just like... Yeah, that's where that's where you know. I guess copyright laws. Bergen, Bergen, Snorgen, hacking. I mean, what, <laughs> what, what is it with the Swedes, dude? They got the the fine women, and they seem to like bra busting into computers. Yeah, I, I don't know, it, but it, it's just whatever they come up with. There's just there's going to be some nerd who cracks it. So it's just give up. They re should just give up. Re give up. That's, that's only my cowards advice. cut and run. Jake Fogelnest. <laughs> Boo. I love uh, our Congress has just completely melted down. It's turned into like Parliament. There's like a mosh pit up in that. Turned into Parliament way. funkadelic. <laughs> wow, that was a really bad joke. Yeah. Wow. Um, but yeah, did you see that? Like on Friday, people just bugging, running across the aisle, calling each other cowards. Have you ever seen that? Where somebody, that woman, uh, I forget what her name was, but she was denouncing this guy who said that we should pull out of Iraq, and people started booing. You ever seen that in our Congress? No. If you ever, like, if you're flipping through trying to find something real on television, like Jake Fogelness uh, on I Love uh, the 70s or whatever, um, and you come across C-SPAN, sometimes they'll they'll show you Parliament. Oh, yeah. Right? Which, you got to hand it to them. They have multiple parties over there. It's not just this, you get to choose Democrat or Republican, and they both suck. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. There's, like, actual third parties, so that there's a little bit more accountability. But... Dude, they just start standing up on a harumph, and they've got, like, these crazy wigs. They're throwing their wigs. Have you seen that they have that question time? Have you seen that? No. They have it on? Dude, it's hot. What do you do? Sit at home and watch C-SPAN all day? Maybe. You don't know. You are... Do you ever pleasure yourself to C-SPAN? <laughs> I love a man in a wig, baby. Yeah, I don't know. But the, the <laughs> prime minister has to get up there and... Uh, you know, people from, people from parliament are allowed to ask him questions for, like, an hour. You know, it's like... It's it's like a quiz show, and you know, these people are just throwing all these crazy questions at him, and everyone's like, you know, here, yeah, here, yeah! and then he gets up there and he has to answer it, and he's like, you know, settle down. If George Bush was doing that, he would get murdered, dude. Well, yeah, for a long time they didn't even do press. Well, he they doesn't didn't do, really do press conferences at all, and then they just plant people in there to ask like softball questions, right. gay escorts to <laughs> ask about. <laughs> right. Remember that guy? Yeah. Dude, I, I don't know. I know, and there's a ver the, you know the time he had like the first press conference in a year, and somebody asked him, you know, how how is your faith carrying you through all of this? It's like, come on, oh, I know. man, you gotta I be know. kidding me. I know. And then they had that uh, press conference in Iraq. They go, this is completely unscripted, and then the satellite mm. feed came up long, and they're like feeding the guys their lines. I know. It's <laughs> like this. Uh, somebody standing back there with cue cards. It's just lie after lie with it. For the past, I, I can't remember the last time we had a, like a president that wasn't just completely full of it. No, no, it I stinks. know. Jake Fogelness, what would you?